Hi, howdy, hey, good day. Wow, wow. Corbs here with another Red Dead RP stream as George is on the Diablo RP server. Hope everyone's had a magical Thursday. I had to stop and think about that. Because I had that sick day earlier in the week. I'm like, slightly out of sync. It is Thursday, right? Tomorrow is Friday? Yeah? Pretty sure. We'll pretend it is. Hey, Hammer, how you going, mate? So maybe maybe a, a kind of short one for me tonight because I need to have an extra good night's sleep and I need to make sure my bag is all packed because I fly to Sydney tomorrow. Uh, I go to work for till just after lunch, try and smash out as much as I can so that we're all ahead at the station to Monday so that my boss doesn't have to do as much while I'm gone. And then yeah, I fly to Sydney and yeah, I'll be there till uh, Monday, which would be good. Keen, it's always fun. Flying is fun, and then popping into Sydney is fun as well. Um, it can be a little intense, though. Um, oh, dear. Look at that hydration. That does not... The the circle is three-quarters full, but then it's red in the middle. What's going on there? What could that be? If we drink some orange juice. I hope you well, Hammer. Hopefully see you over the next few days. Um... Still trying to figure stuff out. But yeah, like, Saturday or Sunday night, um, if you're free, or, um, or like you said, I think you said you might pop in one day. And I'll definitely do the best I can to take some time out of my day to come say good day. Um, because we, we get breaks. We sort of organize our own breaks. So, oh, I gotta go get a new knife. I need to go get a new knife. Um... Cook that when I can, that'd be good. Um, but I got a bunch of orange juice. Alright. Ask George. He'll know. Hey, oh! Um, oh, hi! Howdy. How you doing, Kelly? Good, I'm just trying to figure out how to do this badge stuff. The honor will show it. Oh, no! Okay, so... It's still not working. Let, let me I'm... see if I'm remembering it correctly. So I'm thinking T slash law badge. Oh, I'm not on duty. Okay, that would help. And George, I don't think he's put it on before, so he might also need to edit edit it. Edit it, all right. Oh, that's oh yeah, I haven't done that in a hot minute. Let me let me see. Yeah, that's right. You want to yeah think of T slash edit badge. That's right. We yeah once we got that sorted, uh, a while back, then it's just a matter of. Uh, law badge and show badge from then on. Unless you want to tinker with it. Ooh. The eyebrows in that never load in properly. There they are, though. Boop. Magic. It's like magic. And if you find editing badge painful, don't worry, we all did. I'm trying to figure it out. I did edit bad once, or twice, or thrice, until I got it right, and then I was like, fuck this shit, I'm never touching that again. This is annoying. Oh, he's doing it! Use your mind.
<laughs> oh, I don't miss... I don't miss setting up the badge. Whoa! Just look at it, check this out. Oh. Howdy, this is uh, acting Sheriff George Hughes speaking. Oh, hey, Hughes, it's uh, Woodman here. Uh, we've got some good news, fella. Oh, lay it on me. Guess who we just caught? <laughs> the son of a bitch that stole your ID. Woodman, you we you beautiful son of a bitch. We got, we got him here in Valentine. Come on down and we'll let you do the rest. Oh, no, I'm happy for you boys to process no, it. No, no, this, this, one, this one's all yours, Hughes. You sure? Yep. Yep, you come on down. I kind of here now. I don't. I didn't really enjoy talking to him last time. Yeah, well, you know, you can, you know, let him know what you think of stealing your ID. <laughs> oh well, thank you for thank you for thinking of me. Look, I've got Scott Kelly here. He's editing his badge for the first time. As soon as that's done, we'll head on up. Uh, okay, so how long can we hold this fellow till you get here? Oh shit! I might tell Kelly, Kelly to meet us there. Then look, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get there as quick as I can. He was out. Hughes out, Kelly. They I urgently, they. I'm in. Uh, they urgently need me in Valentine. They caught the son of a bitch that stole my ID. Oh, yep. oh yes. So look. And hello, sir. So, howdy, Cyrus. How you doing? Did so you? I better ride up now because the longer I take to get there, the less time we can send him to Cisco. So, yep, yep. so Cyrus, if you don't mind, just a, 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 a oh god, not Walker. Oh god, now. I'm, now I'm getting all my names mixed up. Kelly, god damn it. Why have I got a W name stuck in my head? <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking of a lot of things. He's just adding his badge. If you could just uh, wait for him and then head on out. If you, feel free to come up and see us in Valentine, and I'll be back. No worries at all. Sorry, my, I, I got a to-do to list in my head and I didn't write it down. They got the guy with the ID. Yo, Fatigue! Oh, hey, Feezy! Oh, hi, Feezy! Hey! My god, I'm bad with names. I- I was like, Walker was coming into here- into my mind? His name's not Walker? The fuck am I thinking? Names, man. Names of- names are hard. But hey, Fatigue, how you doing? Catch the rascal robbing people last night. Um, well... I have- I'm having trouble remembering. Who exactly, like all the criminals we dealt with last night? Um, um, I just remember the son of bitch that stole my ID. But they've caught him. He's up. They've got him up in Valentine right now, and they're gonna hold him till I get there. I don't know what I'm thinking, Feezy. I'm thinking of couches and stuff. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's all right. Fatigue. It was cooked in a good way. The, but yeah, from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. flew by for me. Like I, I looked at the time and I'm like, it's already 11. What the fuck? So I got to get to Valentine right now. Got to still got to get another knife. The RP is good. It's good to have a bit of a laugh. Oh, you had some money stolen? Look, I know there's been a lot of chat about how much do you steal of people in the server in suggestions recently, but like, it's fine to take some stuff, but you don't want to like drain someone of everything. Like, you sort of got to think. You know, if that was you getting robbed, 
you'd want to have at least, like, you know, I, I think it's generally like you take like a third, unless you've got prior history. Like up to a third and you leave it at that. And it's all, I, I'm pretty sure the rules are like, you know, it's always like, it's one long arm or one side arm or two side arms or one long arm. It's something like that, I think. Oh, 50 bucks is okay. It sucks, but yeah. Like definitely, if you're if your character is robbing someone, you are, and you're you've RP'd it out, you have every right to rob them. Just yeah, draining them is a bit of overkill. But unless unless your character is like a real shithead and you're happy to accept the consequences. Must get to Valentine. I was actually kind of hoping they'd say we caught Caldern Wiles or Mr. or John Black, but it's, it's the guy that took your ID, for fuck's sake. That'll do. That'll fucking do. I'm on my way. But, and I've already bought a new ID. Well, now I'll have two. I'll keep one in the bank as a as a backup for when it's inevitably stolen again. Excuse me. But it was also funny, yeah, I remember that last night I I never left I I'm 90% sure I never left Blackwater last night. So this is nice to be heading to Valentine. This I'm actually it's actually really nice to be riding to Valentine right now. Howdy Rando. They they caught the guy that stole my ID last night. So I'm right they're holding him in Valentine right now. So I'm gonna get there as quick as I can so we can still give him some Sisica time. Throw the book at him. You stole the wrong ID, partner. <laughs> you stole the wrong fucking ID. You son of a bitch. I'm coming for you, boy. I'm coming for you. Motherfucker stole my... Stole my... Put my ID in the bag. Which which ID is yours? It's the one that says badass motherfucker. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? Didn't. 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 There he is, the man himself. Hello, George. Just thought I'd wait there a sec. Did he just lock the door? <laughs> he opened it and he locked it. Shit. These damn dolls. <laughs> I didn't hear that. You're both locking it. Stop it. <laughs> uh, sir? Yeah? Um, I'm just gonna... What's your favorite number? I'm just gonna give you this. Just double check it's your ID I found on this gentleman. Oh, uh, one sec. Let me... I just gotta get away from the... The chairs. So many chairs. I'll move, I'll move out of the way. Oh, there we go. 104. <laughs> there he is. Go. How are you, George? <laughs> just check that for me. It says George Hughes on it, but I just thought I'd let you double check your height, stuff like that. Stuff like that. 
Uh-huh. Sent your birthday, sir. Let me just I, I got I got a duplicate. Let me let me cross check it. Uh -huh. And one last It's the same birthday and everything to me. Right. Oh. He, does have a, he does have a pump action shotgun on him as well, so if you have the same serial number. Acting Sheriff, uh, George know. Hughes, we meet again. Acting, indeed. Partner, what how, the how hell are you, you doing in all that muck? Well, that's how I live. How you live? With the pigs, with the animals, is it? Mm, seems to be. Locked behind the bars like an animal. And Mr. Hughes, these boys here have heard me. When I get a little grumpy. But I'm not grumpy with you! I'm disappointed. No, Listen, I, as you know, I robbed you. But I didn't take anything else. I only took the ID out of principle. Because I believed you were being unreasonable with me. As I told you, I'd just been advised yesterday to go get an ID. I had some business. I intended on getting an ID. But... You were heavy-handed. You wanted to throw the book at me, so to speak. And yeah, I'm a man of principle. Now, Mr. Hughes, I was uh, I was starting to become unreasonable with you because I was politely asking if uh, you could go acquire some ID as you didn't have any. And you're coming back with every rotten excuse under the sun. Uh, no, just the one that I was going to do it. I just hadn't done it within the five minutes of being advised the last time by these gentlemen. Oh, you know what? You know, it's fairly easy to say, you know, sorry, sir. No, I do not have an ID now, but I will certainly go get one right away, rather than all the running around. Mm. We'll agree to disagree on how that we conversation will. went We down. will. Now, look, hope you haven't given these boys too much trouble, and appreciate you being honest when I got here. I'll be honest there, sir. He's been quite good in those. He's been very respectful. He's been good? Yeah, no issues. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, look, I wasn't here. Now, now, Mr. Hughes here. These boys have treated you all right? Uh, my name's Ivan Steele. Mr. Steele, have these have these two fine deputies treated you all right today? They're always a pleasure. All right. Well, we only would like pleasurable interactions from now on. I just, we just want to see an ID with your glorious name on it. All right? Now, look, we don't want to come hounding you. It's just if we're, we're in the middle of something hectic in town, we got people running all over the place, and there's a whole bunch of people in overalls and whatever you were wearing that day, we just want to be sure we know who we're talking to so we can deal with the, the actual problems. That, that's it. And please live your life, okay? Now, look, I... I um, now, look, they say, you've been, they say you've been reasonable, and it did take me a little bit of time to ride up here, so, look, I'm going to let them use the fairest judgment they, they seems reasonable. As far as that, all right? It's in well, their hands now. But thank you for having yeah. this chat with me. Thank you for your patience. No, you, you spoke to me politely. I'll give you my word. I'll go and uh, I'll go and acquire an ID. Thank you, Mr. Steele. Appreciate it. And uh, let's get this wrapped up for you, all right? So time is money. Easy. Thank, you. thank you for coming up, sir. Oh, no, I appreciate you boys uh, letting me know. That's uh, of course. It's very thoughtful of you. I believe... Um, if uh, Wooden Bahami does agree, um, he has spent some time in here. Uh, it was waiting, but I believe that he's learned his lesson. He's been quite respectful to both myself, Woodman, and uh, Acting Sheriff Harkness. Um, I believe just, just to let him go and uh, go get that ID. I could even take him down there myself to the uh, yep. post office down the road. Hey, look, if you, if you feel that would be suitable, I, that sounds all good with me. Because yeah, I, I, was, I was feeling the clock tick by on the ride up, so I'm 100% there with you. I think you boys have made the right call, and we can all just uh, we can all put this behind us and move forward. Sounds great. Appreciate it. Alrighty. All right. I'll get you out of here now, and I'll uh, take you down to the near the uh, train tracks there at the uh, train station. There is a post office there. You can acquire an identification. Much appreciated. No problem. There, so we, go. there we go. There we go. George, positive use of phones. Yeah. Not. Yeah. I was helping uh, uh, Kelly was uh, getting Come his badge all. 
uh, need on his vest. And then yeah, the phone right. rang. Very good, good, good bloody timing, Woodman. That's 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 a no. I'm proud of you boys for thinking to check. But I would I would have been happy if he's had just you know gone and done it, you know. But yeah, I'll... no, we we thought it was fast, and so it's your idea, and then... yeah, look, I. I know. I'm just. I'm just trying to think back. The exchange. Right. I just. Let's go for a walk. He just. It's Whoa. just. There's so That's many. Pe there's so many new people. Oh, I. Uh, it's just. It's hard to keep track. Uh, bumped into uh, the fella that rode off in the boat last night. Uh. 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 Quan. Yeah. Quandale. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So I was over in Saint Denis last night and. Uh, just hanging out with the doctors after my shift and uh squiz taylor runs up with this guy that he hogtied because he'd been attacking people in saint denis i'm like hey that's that's the fella rode off in the boat so uh we we took him around to the east department and they sent him back out to jail for us oh good <laughs> he made a he made a real mistake rolling yeah. out in that boat it did, didn't was it sledge you nailed him from afar and he was swimming with the fish yeah yeah, so, uh, yeah, they got him with some other charges there, and then they added on the three days from us as well. Well, look, that, that's also really nice to hear, you know, the, the two departments factoring that in. That, that's good to hear. Yeah, well, I, ex I explained to him what happened. Look, I'm like, this guy ran, stole the boat when we we're going to send him to prison. Uh, we sank the boat, but then he uh, swam away somehow. Yeah. Yeah, he's a... So, uh, yeah, no, uh, I said, and they're like, what do you want us to do? I'm like, look, book him with your charges and just add three days for, from us, and we're happy. Well, I imagine Mr. Quandale, he has a high uh, tolerance to pain. Unfortunately, he was telling me all about how his brother uh, has pretty much been beating him his whole life since they were children. It was very sad to hear. Huh. Yeah, I, I really felt for the, the fella. I understand he was just trying to make a joke, but the timing of yelling out, this is a bank robbery, and firing the gun into the ceiling, literally after a bank robbery, is yeah. probably not suitable. How long were you sending him to Sister Kapoor? Or did I add time on again? Well, Look, he did escape from us, so... Every time I've been involved with a prison transfer, I've actually never had the chance to send someone myself. I'm not actually I'm... entirely sure of the process. Miss Kane, you are looking lovely today. Good to see you. Oh, thank you, George. Isn't that the poncho you just like, George? <laughs> I'm a changed man. You know, I'm actually okay. thinking, you know, maybe red ponchos for the department. <laughs> Oh, we'll God. see what Jack uh, thinks. Oh, uh, uh, also, uh, I got another quick one. Just want to talk to you about real quick, whispering. Sure, anytime. Uh, also, while I was hanging out with the doctors last night, yeah. the gentleman rides. Guess who it was? Mr. Black. Nope, Mr. Calder. Oh, mm, yeah. Did he say anything? Yeah, he's like, oh, it's uh, Hughes around. I'm like, nope, Hughes has gone to bed tonight. I'm like, yeah, you but know, we said Thursday night. Yeah. Between yeah. eight and nine, Alexi even. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 he's, he's still, you know, he's still on for tonight. He was just seeing if you were around last night. Oh. Yeah, and I'm um, like, Rushing no. around. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm sitting there think praise and ready for a robbery. He's like, oh, yeah, I've been bringing you Springfield along, and if George behaves himself, you'll get your Springfield back. Really? Yes. Oh, Todd, look, look, like I said, I I have no plan on doing any funny business with Mr. Caldern. It's literally just try and talk him down. Find out, just see if I can find out anything, and we can all yeah. go our well, separate ways for the time being, and then it's back on. He also said he'd be there at eight thirty on the dot, but I still think we'll get there at eight anyway, just in case. It's You'll get you going back if it happens well. That's so good to hear. How you going, Harkness? Yeah, not bad. Hasn't, you? hasn't been too busy for you. I know. Harkness, what are you wearing? I used to dress as a sh when I was at my place as a sheriff. Yeah, but we've been told since day one our color is red, not blue. Best, you know, we're best, as a sheriff. He's got the red tie. Oh, that's it a should be red. Tie. It should be red, actually. Oh, it's gone that tin. Yeah. Change the color, yeah. Yeah, it's like you're wearing a Marshall's tie. Yo, Bunda. Yep, yeah, it's actually red at my eyes, but I'll, I'll change it. Oh. Wait, is it what color in your eyes, Hughes? Uh, I've what? done the. Is, is that gold or red? It should be red. So it looks like. I the wrong one. Golden red. Golden oh, really? red to me. It looks, it looks like yellow and. I, I don't know. I give up. You, you can't see the red there? It. I think I think it I think it does the job. I can see what he's going for. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just see blue as an east side thing these days. I That's guess. That's their best. 
well, look, you know, over the next week, you know, we, you know, we could trial things as long as it's, you know, it's just, it's just the clothes. Yeah. It's true. I just like this. That's all. Just test yeah, but the, if, if, the if Mr. Bowman would have, that's what he was sheriff. It's Bowman. Yeah. Okay. You know, Things he's been out of, he's been out of the job twenty four hours. It's just strange to see changes already. Oh, changes happen. It's just a trial period, Todd. Okay. It'll be all right. All right. Oh, we'll be not wear a red tie just for you. Thank you. Oh, I might check. I might check my telegrams while we're here. All right, mandatory dinger hats for all then, Hawkins. <laughs> mandatory dinger hats. Greetings. Right, what do I do? Right, your, your horse shot the governor's office. Yeah, that was before you you were sheriff. So, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh... Greetings. Ran into cold air this morning, this afternoon actually. A woman, your gun was in strawberry, apparently. You mean your rifles in strawberry? What in the gun shop? No, in the in his bank. Oh, okay. or his house. Uh, He's got a house. Probably, won't be too surprised. Okay. Well, you're the sheriff. Get, get, it back. get us a warrant. Yeah, you'll get it back tonight if everything goes well. I hope it bloody well goes well. But yeah, that no, was an interesting night there in St. Denis last night. Oh, yes. It was just chaos everywhere, I felt. Ah, uh, St. Denis. Yeah, they were, they were chasing cow down all over the city. And they lost him. Yeah. Yeah, I was no. called out in Shootable. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what was going on. I, you know, I was staying out of everything. I was just there to, to chat with the doctors for a while. You know, Mr. Sassy was in town. All right, so, he's got uh, an idea sorted. So, yeah, we're hanging out, etc. It's all good. And, uh, yeah, all, the, all this chaos was going on around us. And we just, yeah. Right. Do you want to change our child to black and red so woman doesn't freak out? <laughs> black shirts are the way to go. Yeah. Black shit. How about cool guy? Yeah. I don't know, type a little black shirt look better. That's a hard brush. A black shirt would look good too, wouldn't it? Do you know if you can directly reply to a telegram or do you need their, their number? No, you need their ID. Oh, for f. Oh. Yeah, um... actually. Directly the dark blue or black shirt. Ooh, man, I always wear a black shirt for you. Uh, Harkness, should we go up to that? Yeah, if they're all here. Yeah, no, I think Let's go, go to YPD. Yep, let's go. Alrighty. Oh, we'll wait for George to finish sending his letter. Can you get a blue shirt or go black shirt, you reckon? Done. Sorry about that. 
Oh, right now. Right, uh, drug dealing up in Wapiti. Oh, really? Of all the places? Yeah, all right. Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, where is it? Where is he? Lose on my head for a bit, you know? Yeah. Am I calling you Sheriff now? Yeah. Ah, call me Hawkins, that's fine. Okay, Sheriff. Where'd Mr. Roscoe go? I don't Fuck see him. Knows. Oh, you drum on Slate, I'll drum on Hughes. That sounded so wrong. Yeah. It's fine. I'll follow y'all up. I'm still thinking about Mr. Wiles. Well, you, what, you're gonna say to him? Yeah, yeah, so I'm just going to be taking things off in my head while we go. So yeah. I'll, I'll follow you up, Sledge. Uh, where are we heading again, sir? Uh, we're PD. We're yeah, PD reservation. Got a good blue shirt or black shirt? Yeah, we'll head up this way. Uh, black shirt. Got black it! Black shirt. Yeah, I'll do that when we get back. Uh, yeah, we'll be scared of the tide. Oh, really? No, I'm not scared of a tie. It's just awkward you wearing, like, the, the Marshall's tie. Marshall's aren't quick. Our Marshall's not around. That's true. I mean, Marshall aims his tie, then. He's not our Marshall, but... He is a Marshall, though. He's a Deputy Marshall. Correct. And, uh, technically, I'm his boss. You're... No, no, the Marshall is our boss. Uh, no. Technically, we're the Marshal's bosses. I am, I mean, Georgia, if something happens. Oh. But there's like a situation where there's a bank robbery. He has to listen to us. Yeah, but then he can also then tell us to, you know, crack down on things too. Yeah, that shit he can, but when we're do if there's a situation, if it's a sheriff situation, we're in charge. Right. Unless it's his operation. Yes. Yeah. I said they're federal, where. Uh, what the hell are we called again? State. Uh, State. That's the word. What did you call them? Feds. Oh, federal, right. The federal government. Right. So many things to remember. Yeah. Then there's Governor Smiley who always gets in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Why, why is Daddy working for him? Fuck, I have no clue, don't ask me. But they've oh, broken no. up. Huh? Uh, Dottie and uh, Ma uh, Caldo broke up. Oh. You're yeah, pinned. Um, on arrival, we'll stop about 200 metres early and get yep. on foot. Sounds like a plan. Snake. Yeah, and then yeah, split it into two groups Snake. or whatever. Come in from two different Yo, directions. Yo, descendant. Yeah, man. Be seeing you tomorrow. So oh, and there, this is Feezy here, Descendant. And Feezy, this is Descendant Probably. that I've told you about. Uh, do, you, do you feel like Ames is just the governor's uh, errand boy these he's, days? That's interesting. He's his driver, that's for sure. Yeah, he's his little driver, man. Oh, uh, well, but you know he can do screw you now. Huh? Yeah, you can flip someone off. You can flip people what? off. How? Play yeah, uh, okay. air guitar thing. Feezy, where? What? Yeah, it's all new, uh, how do I say this? Special things. Oh, we're learning how to sign a bit more? Uh, a little, no, other stuff, yeah. Okay. There's a serial, there's a stabber one, too. Uh, okay. Wait, so if someone flips us off, we can arrest them now? We tell them to get fucked. Well, isn't that like an abuse thing? Because we can arrest people for abuse, right? Getting our fingers on abuse, woman. Give, give them a little fine, isn't that right, George? Oh, look, if they're, if they're being really loud or it's excessive, maybe, but, it, you know, if it's just one little... Well, just I thought talking we to grab them fines as much as we can. It, there's a fine line, Woodman. we got to be getting fines, but if we just go fining everyone for breathing, it's... They're not going to be yeah, too happy about that either. Yeah, but breathing It's an example, goddammit. I'm just going to check how anyway. close we are. I'm just going to check how close we are. Oh, good. I was tempted to uh, find right. the Cynthia before for... Just after water. this, just after we go over the water, there is a, uh, a Y intersection. We're going to jump off there and walk the rest. Right. The water is beautiful up here, George. I'm going to be uh, talking normally. Yep. Real blue, you know. Well, like we can find people to find him anyway. We better get their names. My friend fell off this bridge once. 
to fix that port soon. I would just stop here. Uh, someone possibly go up on the right hand side on the hill, look down with binos. Um, I'll go on the left with Harkness if you want to split up. Is that a good idea, sir? Yeah, That's Todd. Idea, Todd, you got your binos? Uh, yeah. Your sledge says up on the right on the hill. But we'll but stay close to George. Oh, so you come with me? I'll follow then? you, Todd. I want to see what uh, you do. Okay. I don't know very well. It's all right. We're figuring out as we go. Been up here like once or twice, but I don't think the yeah, we'll, take, we'll take the long way around. I don't think the Native Americans were really happy to see me, so I didn't stay long last time. Yeah, no, that's fair. All right, we'll take as we can to get up higher. Yeah, I think Sledge described like a hill or a ridge or something. Look down with binoculars. Up, up, and over the top. Yeah, I believe he. I think I heard him say a ridge, but yeah, yeah, hard point with binoculars. Yo, Kenneth, bloody drug deals at Wapiti, mate. Todd, I think we. I think we may have gone too far. Todd, I, I don't know if Sledge meant to come this far. I think, I think, I think, I think those rocks over there would be fine. Oh, okay. I thought it loops around now. You can get up. I know I've been up there. Yeah, I'm just, I, I'm not sure Sledge meant to go this far. I may be wrong, just, they might be wondering where we are. I just see if it loops around the... We do, Kenneth. We do. <coughs> 8.30, apparently. It's been oh. narrowed down. <sighs> so, can't even see what Peter now.
See, I think if, if Sledge wanted to suggest going around this far, he would have said go left. Oh, yeah. I guess we're going a bit far. Yeah. Oh. Well, Oops. that ridge down there, that'll probably have to do. Yeah, okay. I can't see through the trees. Oh, no. Surfing USA. Oh, motherfucker. <sighs> Yo, Prem. Just surfing on down. I can't see shit. He said, use your binoculars. You got some, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll watch your back. Hmm. Mind you, the thing is, we haven't had a report in a while either. Yeah. So. I guess. I don't know, hope, hopefully, it's not one of those, you know, people that are doing it and then they, you know, get a scent we're coming. <laughs> and then they fucking dip. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's always the gamble, isn't it? Yeah, Bastards. I know. It's, it's a real, it's a real shame when that happens. Yeah, it's. But hey, they should know that you know, there are always spirits watching, and oh they, yeah, it's only a matter of time. Yeah, hundred percent. So, I can't see any movement down there. Look, how about we give it another few? And if there's oh, still yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll head down De behind the like, house. Another day when, when Harkness and I came up here, um, I remember uh, we waited out here for a while, and then, you know, it stopped, and then it happened again. And we eventually got it. I say we wait till daybreak, so we can see easier. Works for me. Do you not have binoculars at the moment? I do, but you've got oh. it. I'm yeah, watching oh, your yeah, back. Yeah. There's not a lot of gaps in trees to look through, so I don't no, think I'm going to I mean, be... there's, there's no general movement, even from the locals at the moment. They're like, there's, it's still as down there. Like, there's nothing. You know, like, even if there are trees in the way, you can sometimes see movement, you know? Well, your call, I think next set would be heading down behind that house, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm about, I'm about to do, but uh, as I'm saying, there's just no movement yet. Nah, that's all right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, now it's time to take a closer look. I keep standing up. Take a look around the left. Oh, geez, sliding around. Oh, you can't. I can't even see locals. Really? Maybe no. they Maybe whoever was here scared them off. It's even worse. Maybe, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, there's just no movement in that camp at all at the moment. Hmm, your call. We can go in and take a look. If, you, if you're absolutely not seeing or hearing anything, then I'm... Oh, oh look, if, we, if we're in plain clothes, I'd say we'd walk in and try and blend in. But we, we kind of stand out a little like... <laughs> It's all right. We'll just, as I said, we'll wait until daybreak and see if there's any movement then. Sound if idea to me. Reports come in. Then uh, we've got 40 minutes till we're going to be on the hill, so we'll just keep an eye on the time as well. Yeah. You don't want to be late to that. Your spring yeah, field now, is a Are state. you wanting us to go off duty for that since, you know, we should be there or... 
Well, I don't know. Well, do you want us to just... Nah, being on duty's going? fine. It's only going to be like half an hour of that. Yeah, okay. Well, here comes Sledge. No one's here and there's no locals at all. Yeah, that's what we're saying. We're, we're so no confused. Locals. Yeah, this is weird. Like, there's no bodies. There's nothing. I need a river really quick. Yeah, we, like, we saw no movement the entire time. Yeah, we were watching it for a good two, three minutes. No one's moving. No, I didn't see any, like, natives. And then I'm like, I'm just going to walk in. Because there's no one here. I walked in. I didn't see any bodies thinking that maybe someone's killed them. Yeah, yeah that's nothing. what we're worried about. Damn shame. How do I say this? We need to go find a river. Are you uh, dirty? Yeah, so, so do I. Yeah. Oh, you feeling it? George, are you, you're dirty yep. as well, George. Oh, I, I geez, can use so am I. Yeah. Oh, fuck. All right. Let's go find well, one. Well, at least the water's clean around yep. here. Yeah, there's one just down the road, isn't there? I think so. I don't want to die. I don't want to get walked to disease. Oh, okay. oh, Jesus. The horse has appeared in the same spot. Oh, and there's it's Mr. Rusko always do it. He won't turn oh, around. Oh. Yeah, no locals. There's a drug dealer up at Wapiti Dub, and then, but then there's no locals or anything around, even when we got here, when they left. I'm not entirely sure, Kenneth. Oh my God, Louis like face down. Disregard my pants. Disregard my legs. I have no legs. Disregard my legs. How do you get it all off so quick? Because of the legs. That's what the witch needs to see. <laughs> oh, is that why she came and spoke to us earlier? <laughs> Yeah, I'm clean again. Uh, George, you, how are you going over there? I'll be right till we get back to civilization. You, you sure? You don't you don't want to strip off the boys? <laughs> no, no. It's a little chilly. I, I think okay. he's going to be getting that knock from the door when he goes inside. <laughs> It'll be my head again. Oh, okay. Yeah, you jump on Mr. Roscoe? Yeah, I'll trust Mr. Roscoe. Okay. To that. <laughs> Your legs, Hopkins. Whoa, That's why the to Whoa. I haven't seen that in a while. Sorry. Oh, who's this on the horse down here? Oh. Uh, see that sled? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, boys. No, it's all right. No, I hit you. I'm sorry. I'd, I'd try to turn faster. Yeah. No. 
Oh, oh, Alexa man. told us a good idea. What? People do something silly, they get to wear the dinger hat. <laughs> you see where Sledge went? I think he's gone to Valentine. Uh, he chased the perpetrator. He did? I didn't see yeah. where he went. You didn't see the person on the black horse? I thought I but, thought you were following him. Yeah, yeah, but then Sledge went down the other path, and I kept going this way, thinking maybe they're going this way. But well, we better go back and check. He's all right. Yeah. Yo, Ash. Oh, Prem, but that's all right. Like, it doesn't happen all the time. Yeah, that's right. They should know. Like, a, a dev or staff member can literally be watching hey, a law stream the, at any time. See we're responding to drug dealing and can literally, if there's a pattern of they're always like, they happen to always be leaving when we're like, like we start heading out, like it gets a bit sus. Like you, you literally see it. Yeah, I just, oh, I just got attacked by wolves. It was very embarrassing. I nearly died. Thank you. Do the Valentine. Nice view. Yeah, that's why she's here. Photography. Oh, oh, how nice. Yeah, that's why I was like, oh, that's really cool. Like, it's actually, a, oh. I've never seen this view before, and it's beautiful. Oh, yeah, she's here in a prime spot ready for sun up. Definitely it. It's both honest. Come on, horsey. Yo, recklessness. Well, with the clock ticking, I might just put patrol in Blackwater until yeah, time. Yeah, I think we all go back to And I right? might... Yeah, Harkness, or do you want to go yeah, we'll... via Valentine? Go via Valentine, they check yeah. on that shit all. I might flick yeah, through yeah. some old reports, yeah, we'll back, anything we'll that mentions old Calvin. We'll head back to Blackwater, George, first. We'll oh, go yeah, to Valentine, yeah. quickly I'll change. Uh, okay. Yeah, sounds good. Pizza. Yeah, I was, yeah. Valentine pit start would be nice. Yeah, I'll just change my shirt and my... Come on, my tie, so... It's on the left. Going all right. Oh, he's getting chased. <laughs> I, did I just see someone come barreling down hanging off their horse? So a uh, local came up next to you, pulled a gun on you and I shot him. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, we were shooting the look. wolves for him. Jesus. Yeah, exactly. Jeez, these people, the further north you go. Oh, they, or there south. must be some special with Petey Bud out here. <laughs> oh, well, he's not here for the view. No, oh, definitely not. It's going all right, Recklessness. I actually had really good news today. Um, and yeah, I fly to Sydney tomorrow and I had really good news today. I'm very excited for next week. Um, I don't want to go jinxing myself and speaking about it aloud. But um, yeah, some really good news next week. Did they keep heading on down? Oh yeah, they're just down here, sir. Oh, phew. Something. Two more appeared, and then a local aimed a gun at uh, oh my the God. acting sheriff and I had to put it down. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get back to town with no more I'm issues. Just, I'm God. watching that wolf to see if it's checked it stopped twitching and bloody damn local. <laughs> oh, well. All right, let's roll. Thanks, recklessness, but I hope everyone's had a nice day. It's Friday tomorrow. On to, um, on to the weekend soon. I'm very keen to get to Sydney. Tomorrow, see some friends, do some fun stuff. Not be at the computer for a change. <laughs> that would be nice. Though I won't be on Red Dead for a, a handful of nights, but that's probably going to be for the best. I do need a bit of a break. I have been playing it a bit too much lately. I'm working at a. I'm working in AV at a convention. That's 
my favorite that's some of my favorite work to do is to do av at events i wish i had a full time doing something like full time job doing something like that but i i try and do it when i can yeah man it's been a while it's been a it's been a minute It do be like that. Oh no, Dub. That's the risk, hey. So are you just gonna wait till you get back before you get stuck back in? Knock over some other games in the meantime? I really wanna catch up on more like Deep Rock Galactic. I haven't played much Helldivers recently. Um, whole bunch of games I've been meaning to catch up on. It's just, yeah, George Hughes and stuff has just been really... Oh, get fucked. I have a feeling she wasn't there to take the photograph, sir. Shit. Did you happen to get a name? It's Ivory Black. Oh, fucking God. Yeah. God damn it! <laughs> well, make a mental note. That, yeah, yeah I, 100%. We can't... That's too, that's too good of a coincidence. No, definitely now. If I see there again and she's arm taking photography, I'm like, well, that is my day. Is it her or Dottie that's apparently the secretary of the governor now? Dottie. Oh, God. Oh. Taking on photography, my ass. Yeah, and that's... Cal that left her. She works for the government now. Oh, I imagine he might be a little... Well, now I... Well, I'm glad you just told me, so now I don't not to mention... Hello. Now I know not to mention uh, Dottie tonight. Yeah, definitely don't. <laughs> or else, yeah, y'all could watch me get shot. Oh, yeah. And then avenge me, boys. <laughs> um, so, yeah, do you see that uh, thing come oh, yeah. up? We yeah. figured she's definitely not uh, taking photographs. Yeah. Why don't we search her before? It's just, you know, time and a place, I guess. How's it going? It's nice to hey, sometimes yeah. give people the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, you well, uh, you you boys uh, lawman? Uh, yeah. What what's going on? I was just uh, I was just wondering. You got any uh bounty work around here? Uh, bounty work? Oh yeah. So uh, in Blackwater and Saint Denis, there is uh, a board at both uh, sheriff's departments. It's got a bunch of uh, posters up there, wanted posters, different people's names on there with uh, different pricings, etc. If you can uh, bring them in. You do none here. Uh, unfortunately, the uh the same posters aren't available here in Valentine. Uh, right. All right, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Woodman, I'm just gonna head down to the telegram station. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. I'll have to do some more Helldivers soon, Prem. Um, especially when I get back from Sydney. I just, yeah, I realized, I was like, I haven't played it in a hot minute. There was just that whole PlayStation account fiasco. Um, and it just, everyone was sort of like, oh, gonna not play it for a bit. And I was like, yeah, that's fair. And then it's, and then it was all sweet again, but everyone's sort of like, oh, kind of forgot a little bit. Make sure there's no, yep. Good, good, good. We are still up to date. No updates there. I will admit, I, I, I much prefer playing Helldivers on sort of like the medium, like the around the middle uh, uh, difficulty levels. Like the low ones can be really boring and then the um, the really high ones can get a bit, it's like, it just feels like none of your guns work. It's just, there's always like, it just, it just, like I get it, it's meant to be hard, but it's just can feel a bit ridiculous. Almost city-ish style outfit of like a dark 
a, a gray waist length coat and a gray waist rounded coat. gray hat to match. Okay, okay, all right. We'll keep a lookout for that. But yeah, taking too long of, of a person is uh, very frowned upon. I agree. Luckily, right. the people of Rhodes were able to hand me a, a double barrel to compensate. Mm. Is that you, William? Yes. Yeah, oh, hi. Good to see you, Pony. Did I hear you had two long arms stolen? I did. <sighs> Someone took him right off me. They weren't happy I was standing in the middle of the road looking at my map, so they got kind of frustrated. Oh, look. I, I Which is understandable, like but I don't think it's enough to hog tie me and steal my guns. I agree. You know, some, some stern words, yes, but stealing two, two long arms. That's, a, that's disgusting. Yeah, I, I already told Mr. J uh, Jeb about this, so he, he has a description. He said he might get a posse together and go looking for him, but I thought I'd let you guys know as well. Oh, definitely, definitely. We'll, we'll keep our eyes peeled. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, William. That's all right. I'm, I'm used to the bad luck by now. Oh, it'll, it'll get better. How's, how's the medical life? Uh, I had a break yesterday from it. I did a lot of hunting instead, but today I'm back on it. Uh, a lot of the uh, the new recruits, uh, I think two or three of them, are with Mr. Loris on the west side today, your jurisdiction. All right. So they're out and about doing their thing. Oh well, hopefully, hopefully yeah. we just run into them in passing and not that we're not need them to come, you know, put us back together. I would hope so. I'm I'm by myself on the east side for the uh, doctor duty today, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Just tonight, right? Uh, just tonight. We might be splitting the county for the, the doctors as well soon, but today's looking more of a training day. Okay, well, all right. Well, I hope the rest of your night gets better, William. Yeah, same here. Oh, I better check. I think a few of the a few of the new deputies, I think they've made an arrest. Just going to make sure they're all right, but I'll be seeing you. It, to be honest... It was a little chaotic, and I don't think they knew what they were doing. They pulled guns on each other, even at one point. It was a little weird. Oh, okay. I'll, 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 I'll keep that in mind. I'll, I'll check they're all right. Thanks, William. Oh, not my horse. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sir. No, I'm just having an issue. We got to get the air. Uh... So Oh. Clyde and that in here. I was not a part of it, so I have no idea. Wait, wait, wait. So, so which people in town tied you up? I don't know. They're wearing red as well. Uh, it's hard to tell the difference uh, between I, I, you yeah. guys and them. Uh, it wasn't the Montgomery's again, was it? It probably was. Wait, uh, tell us in red. Yeah. Yeah. I swear I just saw Deputy Kelly and Deputy Cyrus come up with them. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thought I'd find him. Where are they? I don't know. Was one of them? Do one of them have an eye patch? Uh, I'm not too sure. One of them had long hair though, long gray hair. Definitely oh. not one of ours. No, that, yeah, that's not one of the deputies. That wasn't Mr. Creed, was it? Uh, Creed rings a bell. I was in the doctor's office getting treated, and I heard someone say the Creeds. That someone don't want to start wolves between the sheriffs and the Creeds. So I'm assuming it'd probably be the Creeds. Well, the, the Creeds certainly wear yellow. Okay, well, def I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't really know who's all right. We're definitely wearing red vests. So. Red vests. Maybe okay. you guys sort it out or I will. All right, okay. As I said, we're just waiting for our deputy to come back in that sort of whole commotion to sort all this out. Yeah. So, you know, we weren't around, so. It shouldn't uh, be too long, I imagine. Was it, was it just a. They got a bit of a headache? How was that? No, our guys, yeah. our deputies. Yeah, when they go? But they were just outside, and then they, we came up, and then they fucking disappeared. Who the hell are they? The hell? Probably got kidnapped by those thugs. George. 
Howdy. How are you? Oh, look, I'm alright. I'm just... Getting, getting, are these all... They're all having a serious conversation, I take it? I believe so. I don't know what about. We're just trying to sort it out. He's just, yeah. um... He's just looking in his pockets for his note that he uh, has written on the serial numbers for shotgun. Oh, and is this about the, the fella You're in the... You're looking for the gunsmith, yeah, ma'am? I was looking for Mr. Gold, yes. Oh no, he won't be until later, but I'll work at the gunsmith if you need a... The last four digits is 7749. Mr. Seven, Gold, right. if you know what I mean. Is that a pump action? Okay, no worries. Gets himself into yeah, some so trouble. Yeah, so 7749 is a pump action. Yeah, he'll be um, back in a little later. Um, Mr. Walter Gold uh, literally oh, sorry, just upgraded it that day. How's that? Oh, I walked gotcha. out of the the gunsmith here and uh, we got hardtied for no reason. Do you have the number for run. the sidearm that you said he took to? Um, yes, I do. I'm pretty sure because right. I got that customized as well. But that's all right. I don't want that. It's just right. the pump because I got I'll it. Go Howdy, cheesy right chubby. Thank you for the resub. How you doing? Um, oh, it doesn't. Howdy, farmer. I've already checked it. Oh, okay. Didn't know. Yeah. yeah, there was a bit going on. So I was pretty much thinking, like, my Did bro, you my anyone else process. as well? Yep, every, bro, there was like six, same seven guns. of us. Everyone have a yep. similar Everyone, pump everyone's pump. had the same, pretty much similar. If we get a mortar sent us all, you like, tell us what their last I, I, I wouldn't, honestly, like. mister, I wouldn't know okay. who they are. They were just uh, people that was that uh, coming through, uh, through town. Yeah. Like, yeah, one person can... walked out the saloon and uh, he, he got hard tied. Yeah, this also, was um, the guy in the gun shop. He was telling me. Let yeah, me well, just find it real. So now nah, that's hey, like if nothing can be done, that's fine. I, I, no, I apologize for uh, sort of losing my cool back then. Someone else fine, in mate. overalls, wasn't there? Really, honestly, Sorry. Report once. Someone else in overalls. A so man in overalls got lassoed. Yeah, that's the guy. Um, so they left, and I was like, I'm getting on my horse and I'm gonna track these guys down. And I just happened to go behind the oil fields and the one I think with the overalls and the white hat, like beanie Plus hat, whatever. He was behind there, and then he started taking yeah. off, and me and my brother got him. You know, shifted all weapons and money as well. When you got your weapons, or just like one side arm, one. How they cleared our pockets? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's everything, right. yeah. That's, yeah, it shouldn't be. I've already got prayers um, open and everything, but you know. Yeah, that's good. It's just this patience game sort of thing. Don't want to yeah, rush. Uh, they'll, they'll get back to you quickly. And one guy uh, took a Mr. train Creed out. Creed went after, after rubbers. Just while, while right. Who's Mr. Creed? Mr. Creed's that guy over there. That guy over there, yeah. Yeah, that's my brother, Willie Creed. Willie Creed, yep. I think you boys have got this. Cyrus, can you just let the others know when you see him in a sec that I'm, I'm, I'll meet you in Blackwater? No worries, sir. Yep. So we had Walter Gold here yesterday, Mr. Creed, Grant. I'll see you down there, Jack. I can't see you down there. I'm doing pretty well, Cheesy Chubby. I'm excited um, for tomorrow. I uh, fly to Sydney for a couple of days, and uh, I got some... Um... Howdy, George! miss! You're not running for something, are you? You got a second? No, I, yeah, I've got a second. I've, got, I've even got two seconds. Well, howdy, Sheriff. First off, congratulations. Oh, you don't have to call me that. Well, you should also be calling me doctor. Oh, wow! Congratulations! Thank you. And the, I've got Miss Raven and Miss Louisa here. I'm riding along with them at the moment, teaching them, well, hopefully teaching them some things that I picked up. Oh, you're in, you're in good hands, ladies. You're in good hands. I appreciate that. Oh, you don't have to tell me. Miss, will uh, you be, uh, will you be training these fine ladies all night? Oh, maybe. But I have a feeling that you might need me around eight thirty. Well, I'm look, good. might you know things might go south. At that around that time or just after, but you know, a bit a time after that. If you 
you happen to have some time where you'd like to show me any of those new spots you found, uh, I'll definitely take time. But if, you, if you're busy with the training, we can do that uh, next week when I come back. Yeah, I'll see how we go, because I definitely found some uh, some cave paintings and stuff that might be nice to look at. All right, after the after the uh, the meeting, I will keep an eye on my telegrams every every chance I get. We are we are hoping to be in Blackwater around eight fifteen because we want to be in the area in case anything does go south. Because uh, I know how things do go, and uh, yeah, I'm just hoping hoping you're gonna be all right and all, all your boys as well. I feel safer already. Yeah, well, I've got to add some bullets to my bullet jar that are to pull the bullets out of the lawman. So. All right, ladies. I will see you all later. All right. Bye. Bye. Stay safe. Oh, we got a bit of uh, an important meeting happening at 8.30. Recklessness. Which is like 45 minutes away. Thank you, Cheesy. It should be good. Should be a good time. See some friends. Catch up. Do some cool stuff. I currently live in New South Wales, but I grew up in Queensland. I'm just, um, I've been working out here um, for the last two years in radio. Doing my, doing my time until, until I've earned enough experience to transfer somewhere else or something. Oh, you're Southwest Sydney. Are you going to the Supernova convention by any chance? Ah, oh, well, I'll, I'll be there all weekend. Is he working? Ah, oh, that's a shame. Oh, thank you, Cheesy. I... Yeah, I just... I don't know. I, I just really liked... Uh, you know, cartoon voices and lots of voice acting stuff growing, like, growing up. Um, where I just sort of imitated it a lot and, um... You know, just a lot of stuff like that. Um... And then now, you know, then I get paid to sometimes talk like this. All this! Oh, car sales. Oh, yes, that would not sleep. I'm actually... I'm actually surprised I don't have the Ugg boots on right now, Rando. I definitely... I do really enjoy it, Cheesy. Um, and because I... Because I enjoy it and I'm good at it, it doesn't... Like, the only thing that's bad about it, really, is that just sometimes there's some downtime where I'm waiting for... I'm waiting for scripts to arrive, or I'm waiting for files to arrive, and and there's just not a lot of things to be doing. And like, I'll do a bunch of side tasks, but it's like, ah, just come on, someone give me a project to do. I'm just gotta wait. That's the downside. But it, yeah, when I when I'm like editing stuff and all that, it doesn't really feel like work, which is nice. Oh, so you still get the two days, though, every week. That's good. But I will, like the last few nights, I will put my heater on before I go to bed because even when I've been driving to work to get to work by nine the last few days, there's been some morning mist. And I'm like, what? Oh, that's not... That's a little surprising for 9 a.m. Thank you, thank you, Cheesy. I, I look at it like there's a whole range of jobs where it's like 
there's so much competition in the capital cities that, you know, for a lot of these jobs, you got to go out rural and you've got to, like, you got to do your time. Like, you've got to pay your dues, so to speak. Um, like, you got to go and prove yourself before then, and then you can, and then you can, um, try and get a, that same role in a capital city. So that's, that's what I'm hoping to do. That is a, a goal. Boots. Where's the gun? Doctor. Is the gun store here? Am I going mad? It is right here. What the fuck am I smoking, bro? Alright, I got a knife again. I swear old mate stole my knife. But I can't be sure. Oh, there's the governor. Howdy, governor! The actual sheriff, I've been wondering where you boys are. Oh, we've been up a, a Valentine and beyond just, you know, reporting... Uh... Can you hear me, son? Y yeah. Oh. Oh, sorry, sir. I was actually muttering under my breath. Sorry about that. No, no, you're all oh, good, yeah, son. We've been up a uh, Valentine Way and beyond. Oh, oh, you've been quite busy. Well, I think you boys might have a bit of work on your hands today because I just went over the east and haven't seen a single person. Oh. Oh, dear. So, uh, you boys might be kept busy today. Oh, yeah. Well, I know, I do know, I ran into some doctors. They'll be in the area, which is, which is nice, so... You know, I, I feel safe knowing they'll be, you know, in our in our backyard. Oh, that's good to hear. Do you actually know where the doctors are? I've been trying to find them. Uh, I ran into them just outside Valentine. They'll be down here by quarter past, sir. Quarter past. All right. No problem. Um, Actually, speaking of it, because I just saw the boy ride past, uh, Mr. Caldern wished to have a conversation with you. He, You've seen him today as well? I sure have. <laughs> what doesn't he, what don't he understand about 8.30? We've we've been we've arranged to have a sit down at eight thirty. Maybe he's preparing to you know get get getting the nerves out of the way. He's planning something. Maybe he's scheming something for all I know. We've oh, don't worry. He's always been a talker. <laughs> oh howdy, ma'am. Howdy. Oh, uh, Mr. Hughes, have I introduced you to my personal assistant, Miss Dottie Goldworth? Nice to meet you, Mrs. Goldworth. Miss you Goldworth. Too. Miss? Goldsworth. Miss. Miss. Nice to, nice to meet you. You too. So she'll be helping me with uh, a lot of my daily, day-to-day -day things. And, uh, and you you know, so if I'm not around, you'll be probably talking to her as well, who will be helping me out with uh, everything I need to do. No worries. Are you, is uh, Tom still standing on the table? Uh, he still is. I've tried. I told him he's fired, but he's <laughs> just won't leave. That idiot. Oh well. Hopefully he gets the idea soon. Yeah. Well. All right. So well, we've got to get some work done. But um. Yeah. Hopefully, like, hopefully I see those doctors and uh, you know, stay safe. I don't, you know, I know you're talking to Mr. Calderon, but he didn't sound too happy when I talked to him about five minutes ago. So D don't worry, sir. A number of the lawmen are going to be posted right nearby on a hill, ready, and uh, we've arranged a, a signal and everything. So. Perfect. All right. Well, I'm, you stay I'm, safe. I'm trying to demonstrate that I'm willing to, you know, stand up to these people for the people. Yeah. Nope. That's fine. I just, I just had it's to a have a good way to be, sir. Exactly. I just had to have a hard conversation with Cal Dern talking about, you know, he was up in arms about his, you know, his crimes and, you know, he shouldn't have had things taken away from him. And, and then he started going on about my uh, personal assistant going off about hers. And I, Oh. I had to kind of chew oh. him out a bit, saying, well, you know, at least she's trying to change her, turn her, her life around and, is, you know, being a productive member of society. What have you done lately? And He's, you know, let's just say I probably should have, uh, probably should have kept that to unto myself because his anger is now very high going to this. So I do apologize for that. All right. I'll keep that in mind, sir. I'll, I'll be, I'll be gentle. All right, partner. Well, you take care of yourself. You too, sir. Stay safe. Uh, nice to meet you, man. Stay safe. You too. Better have a bath. <laughs> Everyone's running into Calder. <laughs> oh, God. 
Oh dear. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> Rub a dub dub. <laughs> Barge in. <laughs> Ah, you need a back rub, Sonny? <laughs> but usually I don't like running down the street. I, yeah, I don't mind metagaming when it's done for good. Or like, the funnies or something innocent. Like, it, that doesn't bother me. It's when it's malicious, it's like, come on, man. Like, you're cheating. You're literally cheating. Like, don't... You don't cheat in games, it's silly. Howdy. I thought that might have been Caldern right there. Well, oh God. Fatigue. If if Cynthia Wheeler learnt that, that George was getting luxury baths, she'd fucking she might kill him, man. She might kill him. Hey, Hello. Todd. Hey. Uh, Jeb was looking for you. Jeez, every... The governor just bumped into me. He says Calvin spoke to him as well. Uh, okay. Seems he's not happy. Well, uh, with who? The world, I guess. Oh, uh, so I, I, I may or may not have left a horse inside the governor's office. The hell was that? Are they all right? Oh, howdy. Well, that, first off, that was the governor shooting, I think. Secondly, there's a man called Jebediah looking for you at this saloon. Run! Oh, I was just there. Right, I'll go oh, see him. Oh, there's Mr. There's Mr. An oh, sorry. I just hate him. Oh, there he is. Hello, yeah. you. So, I was looking for you in uniform. How you doing? Oh, no, no, that's all right. Uh, I think you're in a hurry. That's so all I can walk with you, if you like. Yeah, where would you like to talk? Oh, uh, aren't you in... Uh, I'm whispering right now. Aren't you uh, in a hurry to get to your meeting? Well, that we've learned that that's happening at... It should be happening at 8.30. Oh, okay. All right, so, so you got a bit of time. So, I'll be heading up. Me and the boys will be heading up, uh, you know, earlier than that, mm -hmm. but that's when it should be actually happening. Oh, okay. So I was just going to say, there's no one else in the east. It's just me. So I didn't go on duty and I just came over here and I was just going to say, if you need any extra support or anything, I'm here if you need me. Well, Woodman's but, uh, around the corner. And uh, yeah, when yeah. Uh, Harkness and that get back, definitely offer it to them. Uh, mm -hmm. The boys, they're also going to be sitting on horseback on a hill nearby. Uh, okay. Basically, the signal will be, if I will, I'll be on the side of the tree. Well, I'll try to be on the side of the tree that's furthest right. away from the nearby wall. But if I okay. walk around the tree or, you know, walk to the opposite side of the tree, that means something's yeah. wrong. Come help me. Oh, okay. That's all right. I was just going to say, I could just be there for support, like, if everything goes wrong. Or, oh, no, know, definitely. Uh, it would it'd feel good to know that you're uh, on the hill with the boys on horseback can, uh, ready to go. With, with uh, my smaller stature, I can hide pretty good. And being not in uniform makes me not stand out so much. Run that by so. Harkness when he gets here. No, All right, that well sounds did. like a good idea to me. All right. Hey, a new horse. Hello. Are we all good to start setting up, George? Oh, no. wait, is Harkness in that back yet? No, they're still in Valentine. They're dealing with someone else. We might wait another, you know, five or ten. It's just that, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I don't want to leave it any longer than that. Okay, uh, we, uh, what's the East going to be doing? Oh, it's just Jeb. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, he's just offered to tag along with you. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. Have a blessed evening. Oh, you too, ma'am. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Thank you, Mr. David Attenborough. I
Yeah, I just had a look at the wanted posters myself. So, Mr. Wiles isn't on here? Not anymore. Oh. Well, but he's still most wanted by everyone. Hmm. Well, yeah, I just need to... Look, so, give me a rundown. What exactly... What are the key points I need to know that led up to uh, him flying off the handle like this? Okay, all right. So, his wife, who is now the governor's assistant... Yep. She, and she's standing over there. She should actually still be in. So, she's... Did she leave him? Uh, I don't know. She was in Sisuke. He went and broke her out. So right? broke, broke wife. Yeah. And out then, of Sisuka. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, uh, she was arrested on the east side. Mm -hmm. So they confiscated uh, all of her stuff, of course, sending her to prison. East confiscated items. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, um, I think Mr. Ding was handling it all. And so they confiscated the car carnal she had, right? Anyway. They broke out, and of course, you know, you break out of prison, uh, we take all your locker, you know, that's how it goes. So the East have put all the Carcano and stuff into evidence over there. Uh-huh. Do, do, do you right. know if they still have it? Uh, well, it should be in, a, in an evidence bin over there somewhere. Until they, they melt it down. They haven't been down to um, Dumbleweed in several days, so... Uh, and then, uh, and then he's been going around then pulling each of us up and asking us how to get old oh, he wants his car carnal back right so then he stole off me to to springfield with the uh short scope on it the upgraded one which i just bought it all you know um and my my lamat and then uh you know threatened you know get the car carnal back i'm like i can't and then you know he stole off sledge and he shot harkness and Oh, uh, they executed Harkness, didn't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. All this to get his Carcano back for his wife, who's now left him. So he might not want it back anymore. I, I, I don't know. I honestly, I, you know what? I have no idea what's about to go down. Shit. George. Yep. Oh. At the moment. Howdy. Whisper. Hang on. Oh, yep. You're a ladder. Thank God. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. Am I good now? Yeah. Yeah. Whisper for me. Okay. Yep. Is that the one with the governor? Pardon? One of the deputies Is that Donnie with, with the governor? With yes. Yeah. It wasn't even the expensive stuff either. Has the world gone upside down? I'm not crazy. Oh, well, should we bring her in? Word is that she's a changed woman. But she's still got broken out of the sister code. Well, did, I'm going to be having a sit down with Caldon Wiles in literally 29 minutes up by the tree up on the, the plane. So I'm, I'll, if I learn anything else, I'll be around. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to run out of that alleyway there. And you're going to shoot at me. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to kill? I don't want you to kill me. Okay. Okay. Damn. He got away. Again. Damn. Foiled again. So, uh... Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, George, rally the troops, fella. <laughs> hey, what happened? Uh, yeah, fella uh, jumped out and it's down the alleyway. We chased him out. Oh, damn. Uh, come yeah. and just give support. <laughs> like, not be direct. Put sideways and someone needs to call for a doctor or... You know, something like that. And I could just hide in a bush close by or something. That's why I'm in plain clothes as well. I'm not you know, wearing my uniform because I figured that would give me away. Yeah. 
Oh, he does. He does. Yeah. All right. I'll um, I might wait around outside, wait to see which way you guys go, and okay. then find a spot close by. Yeah, just tail us. Uh, sorry. Yeah, just tail us for a bit. You know. Where yeah, tail us, and George. then uh, find a. Yeah, Woodman uh, knows the the little hill. Yeah, I'll find a okay. little spot off to the side or something, and then uh, just watch with my binoculars to see what happens. So, yeah, I figured at least I can help in Ed some way. Oh, lovely, good to, good to have you here. But yeah, I'm gonna be oh. I'm just gonna be doing my best not to piss him off and just try and see if I can get anything out of him, talk him down, maybe just find out what exactly is motivating him, just see if I can calm it down at all. But yeah, Jack will be, you know, everybody just follow Jack's lead. Uh, right. Jack, Jack, and everybody will be standing by on a hill nearby. Todd will point it out, and uh, basically the signal is, if something seem is seeming off or he's like threatening me or something, I will do my best to attempt to walk around the tree to the side with the little wall, uh, or you know, say it changes up, I will walk to the opposite side of the tree from which I start okay. on, um, and that that's the yeah, signal yeah, to he, he, he won't help. put his hands up in the air. Right? Or crouch and he'll be doing a walk all right so it'll be very subtle but just keep an eye out i'll it. try and just stand there we'll have a cigarette and try and be calm and just keep him at ease and uh so but the the idea. the idea is you know this one time he's free to come up have a chat get to the outskirts and leave without any problem and he won't do anything silly i won't do anything silly but after that it's it's back to normal it's fair game that sounds so good. do Let's with see, that what you will a question yeah. if that's all right What's your goal um, here? So would oh. you like, um, I've got a fair few of them. Would you like to, as a peace offering, talk to him, you can hand him a cigar? I've got some on me. Oh, that's, that's not a My bad idea, actually. That, that sounds perfect. And then, then, right. when, then I know what he's doing with his hands. What's your favorite number again, sir? 104. Do I, I've got some matches. That's good. Um, and, uh, this goes for everybody. Does anyone that's more, uh, you know, up to date with ex Mr. Cal Dern and experiences with him. Is there any points you want me to make? Any questions for him? Oh, well, I don't want to speak for the West, but from the East, you know, we have our own issues with Mr. Cal. So, you know, I mean, I, he shot me in the face. Like, I don't know how not Shit. to take that personally. So. But anyway, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, ask him why he's so pissed with sheriffs. Oh, that's a given, Todd. That's a given. <laughs> Anything more specific? Because I, I don't think I really had many instances with him. So I. It... Well, I mean, the thing is, he has this. Uh, so I've had a few cho choice discussions with Mister Cow. Um, he's apologized actually to me a couple of times, so he can show remorse, I guess. But the thing is, he. Loves two things in his life. He loves freedom, and he loves Dottie. That's it. <laughs> when right? Dottie's out of the picture, he, though. He, he loves he's talking, talking too, though. Head. Oh, well, there you go. Then maybe he's even more pissed off than he normally Yeah, the oh, governor oh, says oh. he's pissed. So, yeah, get ready for me to be walking around that tree all getting shot. Yeah. Um, can you, can you so, get my Springfield off in first? I'm going to try, Woodman. But, JB, ask what my goal here is. Yeah. I'm trying to... I'm just trying to... If we can just... Just try and show that we're willing to listen to a degree, you know, in whatever, as many circumstances we can, you know, try and avoid bloodshed, maybe turn their lives around. That, that would be preferable. No, I, like I just that. wanted, I'd like to just give him that chance because he, he, he ran the, he ran the stables. He, he loves his lady. Well, loved. Or he, or he could do the opposite and just try and piss him off as much as he can and we'll just grab him. Yeah. Mm. I wouldn't go that way. If yeah, it's probably not the best idea, but, you know. I've got a question, actually. Yep. Okay, so he's in belief that he's on the run, correct, sir? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. This might be, I don't know if I'm speaking above, like, out of my pay grade, but what if, as a peace offering, we walk our way, he walks their way, no issues from now on, clean slate, that kind of thing? He, is he that did, in he, your he, power? He did, he did break someone out of jail and shoot many sheriffs. Yeah, I don't know if that's really... It's not, but... It, it, it's it's not. Sorry, that's uh, just... There's like... no warrant for him, though. There is no warrant for him, though. No. There's a warrant for him in the East. Oh, there is. Okay. What? Never mind, I'll disregard that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, just call the sister. She wasn't broken out. That's well, the I'll, issue. I'll, I'll keep that oh, in my yeah. back pocket. 
He didn't um, just break her out. He broke out other people too. Well, you don't have to tell the truth there, sir. <laughs> and, and, oh, yeah. He shot many sheriffs as well, but, that, you know, it's like, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, it's again, some kind of peace offering, though. Speaking from personal experience, um, you know, he he's, can be a very volatile man, so you just got to be, you know, if it's if you're trying to take away something that he values, he will, he, you know, the night I got shot uh, by him, he had that look in his eyes like he would kill his own mother to keep what he wanted. Jesus. So just be aware of that. Well, Jeb, I got to ask you this. Yeah. Would, if, if say he was willing to do some hard time mm -hmm. and that meant he's, you know, Dottie got her Carcano back, is that something y'all would be open to over in the East? Well, we have unfortunately been instructed directly by the governor not to give her her guns. So, Even though she's working for the governor. Now. Yeah, I don't know why, but we have been told directly that we are not to give her hers or John Black's or any of their weapons back. Okay. Well, I'm glad I'm glad we covered that so I can be <laughs> sure, because I'm sure he's going to ask it. But yeah, speaking of, yeah. I better get up in position. Todd yeah, knows the spot. In position, boys. Let's uh, go. Everybody follow Jack's lead. Look, I'm okay. just the man out in the field. J jackal, jackal, you. Jack says jump, you jump, and if you see me walking around that tree, I'll be sweating. I will jump. Yeah, like uh, you know, if if George does give us the sim uh, signal, we you know no passiveness here, boys. We go yeah. straight in, That's guns it. out, and and uh, you know, be does ready he know we're watching, sir? Yes, yeah, and he he may have some people on the outskirts watching as well. As, as long as we're as long as they're civil and we're civil, everything's gonna be fine. But if we if we break their trust, they're gonna be they're gonna be imagine escalating That's their robberies yeah. a lot. But this yeah. is a special occasion. I you know I don't expect this to be happening with everyone. You know, go let's go have a picnic with the you know public enemy number one. This is just because he's a, he's a local here in Blackwater. I just want to just have that one chance. As long All as right. I can get the robberies robbing us sheriffs over, that'd be good. That's right. That I I, I just want that to be over. All right, I'll All go right. get up in let's position. Good luck, gentlemen. I'm doing there, this conversation live. The best for our community. Where is the position, sir, sir? Oh, Woodman knows hey, the spot. You, you can follow Mr. Woodman. Mr. Right, we'll Woodman, Woodman and I scattered out the, uh, the other no, night. You're right. Cage, the biggest issue is we oh, might have to think about sorry, the community Kelly. and drop right, out a rubber over Get my rifle out. So, Woodman, sometimes you might have to drop stuff on him. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, I'm a little nervous. There's the boys.
Here's the law. One man against an army this summer. George Pews. Don't know where he's gonna come from, eh? This is almost like in you know, like Breaking Bad, whenever they have those um meetings out in the desert where they roll up in their cars and they just have an intimidating chat and then they drive off. It feels like that. <laughs> like I'm waiting for like someone to come out, like say my name. <laughs> You're goddamn right. <laughs> bow bow. Do, 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 do. Imagine if a bunch of boys, yeah, they take the ho the the law hostage. That'd be fucked. <coughs> <coughs> I'm not entirely sure. <coughs> Excuse me. What I'm gonna say? I'm mainly like gonna be wanting to hear what he has to say. Fifteen minutes away, like we we're very early. <clears throat> we are very early. <clears throat> Is that him there? It's good to know the doctors are nearby. Chicken. <laughs> I mean, they, if they're looking through binoculars, they can enjoy seeing Hughes down a whole chicken. What? You don't come stand under the Great Plains tree and eat a whole chicken on a on a on a Friday morning? Chicken burger. What is that horse doing? Oh, oh, oh. Did I see... Oh, I think there's a big group heading to the ranch over there. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! What the fuck is this?! What the fuck is that? Oh fuck me, dude. Oh fuck me. Jesus Christ. 
That's a lot. Even to you, Georgie. How you feeling? I'm feeling right. How you doing, Mr. Wise? I thought this was just going to be you and me. What you doing with your friends here? Well, that's why I told Alexi that, you know, you're welcome to have boys over yonder, and I'll have boys over yonder. I thought Alexi didn't say that. Safe to say we both got boys here. Good to see the trust is mutual. Yeah, yeah, no, not looking at any funny business, just here for a talk. Yeah, look, I'm hoping there ain't no bloodshed tonight, but that's going to depend on them itchy fingers of your boys, because my crew will go drill. No, I've told them, you know, they're over there with uh, acting Sheriff Harkness. There'll be no no funny business unless <laughs> unless there's funny business with over Harkness. there. Yeah, as long as Gene ain't calling the shots, he strikes me as a hothead. Oh, well, it's it's a little complicated at the moment. Uh, sheriff Bowman's standing down, so the, both of us are acting Sheriff for the next week. Sounds like a you problem, Hughes. It is. It's an extra communication. All right. What are we here for today? What do you want? I just wanted to see what's... How, how are you? You really want to know? In one day, being yesterday, I lost my girl, because she's decided to go straight and work for the fucking governor. And I lost my business while I slept, because some spineless business manager tried to take it from me while I was sleeping. So, why don't we move along to the next question? I'm sorry to hear that. Um, You don't give a fuck, Hughes. You're on that side, I'm on this side. Let's cut the bullshit. What are we here for? No, no, I... You know, it's you know you're still a you're still a person at the end of the day. It's, they call me out here. I assume you you got a reason. I was wondering, you know, it's just we're getting an awful lot of reports of you know, yourself, Mister John Black, and some others. You know, there's a lot of a lot of robbing going on since uh, yes. you you packed up from the from the stables. Well, we all I didn't pack up from the stables. We all was wanted. Makes it means we can't work out of my business no more. We got to make do. I know, but you, you sure it was the right call to go breaking your girl out of to out of prison like that? Sure, it's the right call. Anytime she's in trouble, I'll help her. Not that she's my girl no more. I get that. Well, look, I understand that would have been frustrating. I, you know, I understand you are on both ends of both at uh, two ends of all this. It's just I would would really like to hear that all these. Robberies could come to a stop. I'm sure you would, and I'm sure if we're both raising we'll hear today we could strike an agreement where that could happen. I I'm open to I'm open to ideas. Alright, I'll try this one on. See all those folk over on that hill? Yeah. Yeah, most folk have been causing your department the West problems. You can know your John Black's group, you know where the ones uh been robbing you sheriffs and what have you. What I propose is this. You ain't gonna like it, but hear me out. Happy to listen. Entry fee is we get our wanted levels scratched here in the West. They keep them active in the East, that's fine. I know you got no say there. Price of admission is we get them bounties and then current warrants scratched. Wanted levels essentially gone in the West. Just yet, where they're up to now. Just, just clean slate. Just cut them, just rip them down. Okay. All right. Yep. Now, what I'm going to give you for that is the word, and I have it from John to, to tell you this. Yep. We won't play up in the West no more. We won't rob in the West. We won't hit the banks in the West. We won't uh, rob your sheriffs in the West. And what we will do in exchange for that, because I imagine them sheriff ledgers are getting pretty light on with the bounties and whatnot. No, not to mention replacing guns. So what we will do for you in turn, and don't tell your higher-ups about this, George, because they ain't going to allow it. Okay. But me talking to you man-to-man. -man, mm hmm We'll hit. You tell us the groups that are giving you trouble in the West, and we'll hit them in a way you can. And we'll make them leave. So we don't play up in the West. We don't rob your Western sheriffs. And if you got a group over here giving you boys some grief... We'll stomp on them, and we ain't the law, so we can stomp on them a lot harder than you can. And you've seen us at work. You know we can do it. Well, look, I'll be honest with you, Mr. Caldern, is that, you know, we're thankful for the most part that y'all are just, you know, well, can't speak for Woodman. He's very attached to that Springfield. Yeah, I, I got it on my horse. I'll give it to you if this goes well. He, he's, a, uh, you know, he's very attached to that Springfield rifle. But, uh, you know, we're thankful that, well, look, 
Harkness would Harkness would appreciate less. Look, let him get some bed rest before you try and execute him. Another attempt, please. He's he's getting on. It's entirely up to what you say next, uh, George. I mean, if you ask me, that's mutually beneficial. Awful. We can enjoy town, not be looking over our shoulders at you boys chasing us. We'll behave in the west. Now the boys are still gonna play up in the east. They gotta scratch that itch. You know that. The shit that's gonna make the east look bad is gonna make you look good, son. Got an election coming up, no? That, that is true. We do. And you take us out of play in terms of crime, straight away your figures look better. And then you have us putting the heavy on any groups causing you trouble. We won't get in the way of no sheriff business, and we won't for a second assume that we're sheriffs or nothing. We'll just keep operating the way we do. We just won't do it here, and we won't let anyone else do it here. Look, honestly, the only other the only other big concern we currently have is there's some groups out in that are popping up in Valentine that are just, they're, they're really pushing it. I'm hearing what you're saying. And, uh, you know, some, I, don't, don't quote me on this. I'm not, I'm not the writer of these reports, but I, I'm hearing about, you know, there's a bit of, you know, misogyny and, and things like that. Um, I don't even know what that means, George. Oh, Ain't an educated man. Well, uh, they, they act inappropriately around women. Speaking of which, I will need you to apologize to uh, Dutt and I get some time for calling them dumb folks that weren't called for. No, I, I, I understand. Uh, I was actually uh, thinking about that. So that was more directed at her friend. But uh, I can I can see how she would have uh, well, her, taken her that call in the crossfire. Uh, John Black's wife, and believe yes. me, you probably want to apologize to her. Oh, no, I I have. I, I certainly have. They, they paid me a visit right outside the sheriff's office and... Uh, I was just frustrated at the time because, uh, you know, we were involved in a little incident and I was trying to walk back to the department, getting myself out of that situation. And they were and they were following me when I, I feel like I was making it pretty clear that, you know, I wanted to uh, yeah, I get, get you, out Georgie. of Georgie, I was frustrated when I blew you two sheriffs away over in uh, St. Denis that night. Yeah. Hey, um, I bet. You know, um, but, yeah, well, look, I'm happy to, I'm happy to talk to... You know, my fellow acting Sheriff Harkness. Um, and tell you what, you, you make a handshake agreement with me on this now. Because people tell me you're a good man. I, I try. You give me a handshake agreement on this now. We'll make that problem Valentine go away for you. All right. So we tear down them wanted posters of you and John Black. Yeah. yeah. You'll behave in the West. And if You'll you feel the, the need to, you know... You know, have we'll a bit of fun with anyone here. It's go east. It's these gangs in Valentine, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, man. If we feel we need to make a bag withdrawal, we'll do it in the east. Now if you you Western Sheriff show up supporting them, that's not on us. That's on you boys. No, we we only go over there if it is you know, it's a very you know, a serious thing. Um, it's very rare that we go over there. It's, it, you know, sometimes they'll call us, but it's George, not as soon as they realize it's us in the bank, they fucking call you. Oh, I don't know if they got... T <laughs> We're always missing each other with the phones. It'd be great if they could ever invent a phone that, you know, you could carry around. But I don't know. The cable might be a bit too long. Get caught well, maybe, on. Maybe, you know, you could you could say you were busy with some other task if you get their call on where the one's over there. That might be too much. And if it is, so, but, you know, that's fine. But I'll tell you this. We'll make them groups in Valentine settle the fuck down and go the fuck away. And uh, we'll keep our nose clean here. All right. Oh, well, and have you got Dot's rifle? Well, I did receive word that a Dot's rifle is still in a, in the hands of the East Law, and uh, they received strict words from the governor to not not hand those over at all, I'm afraid. Well, that's all right. I don't want to have that conversation with him, and I guarantee it won't go like this. I, I, I've spoken to Jeb recently, and, you know, he's... You doing all right? He is. I just, if you could go easy on him, he's a good man. I like Jeb. Jeb is a good one. I he, like him. He's just trying to do his job like me. We, we just... I apologized to him. And like I said at the time, I was so full of rage. I didn't see faces. I just saw badges. And they were not helping me. And therefore, they had to go away. All right. All right. I apologized to him. I understand his, uh, his wife was going to want to shoot me. So I've spoken to them both. Uh, explained... My situation. I do like Jeb. He probably don't like me much anymore. It is what it is. But oh, he that, he he actually had some. There was some nice things he could say. It wasn't all bad. Uh, look, I shot him. So that tends to make a man a little bit angry. I get that. I've been shot. I know how it goes. Yeah. 
All right. Well, look, I think that sounds pretty reasonable. Um, you know, we don't necessarily want to be hearing updates about this Valentine group. It's just, yeah. They, no, I get it. You, you they, don't want to be seen to be associating with us. I get it. But maybe if you get, uh, you know, say Lexi, for example. Now, I know he's not your biggest fan at the moment. You pass him a bit of paper if there's a group giving you trouble. Just tell us their names or the name of the group and where they hang out. We'll make that trouble go. Through away. Alexi. All right. All right. All right. Well, yeah. Just, that work for you? That works for me. All right. Hey, look, let me do you one better along with the handshake. Yeah, what do you got? Thank you, Kyle. Shall we smoke them together? Yeah, consider that. Yeah, let's uh, let's see about getting that uh, those that Mr. Blacks and Mr. Wiles posters brought down, and uh, we'll see. We'll look forward to a, a duration of time where the West is a, a really nice place for everybody. That sounds good to me, George. I mean, we care about Blackwater too. Up until recently, we have businesses there, and I intend to get that business back. I know. Look, if 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 y'all can just you know. Stay off our radar for a time. You know, we understand that, you know, within time, y'all are welcome to come back, and hopefully we can all put this behind us and just... I'd like that, George. Yeah. Like that. Like you, boys. Like I said, Gene's a bit of a hothead, and I enjoy playing with him. But uh, you and Harkness, you're going all right, and I like Bowman, too. He's a good man. Look, so out of respect for Bowman, we'll do this for you. Well, uh, look, I'm... I'm... I'm actually really sad to see Bowman stepping down, and uh, you know I, I am quite nervous about the uh, the election coming next week. You know, I well, I tell you what, George, on account of shaking my hand at this meeting, you got to vote all those people over there. Jeez, that's that's a lot. That's a lot of votes. Pretty much everyone in Blackwater, sir. And look, you know, as as sheriff, um, you know, I'm more I'm all about, you know, I'll get down and I'll get down and dirty if I have to, but I'd rather just everybody. You know, we trying to live in a civilized society. I would prefer if we could all just talk things out. You know, if everyone could meet in the middle ground. We just, we want everyone to be safe. We want everyone to be able to thrive in this in this great country of ours. Believe it or not, George, I'm inclined to agree. We just got different ways at times of achieving that. I, you know, I've been I've been around, Caldern. You know, I'm I'm entering my thirties. I've I've you know I've I've dipped my toes in that side as a younger man. I I get it. I'm surprised. I thought. I didn't know how this would go and that proposition would go, and I was worried it was going to be shots fired. And, well, we're both a little lost out of that. You and I would be dead on this hill. Well, look, look. Some boys did bring up the fact that, you know, they're thinking, well, what if this is going to be setting a trap? And I'm, thinking, I'm saying, well, they're probably thinking we're going to be setting a trap as well. But let's, we were, yeah. let's, t let's all just be the bigger people together and not do that and, and talk about it. You know, we've all just right, gone through Josh. martial law. Yeah. We don't need blood on the streets. No, sir. You... We don't want that. You know what it's like having the governor come knocking on your door, telling you that this and that. He's always talking about, yo, th fix this, fix that. You got an election coming up. It's like, man, I'm just sir, trying to do my uh, job. I just work here. It goes a little bit different when people got a problem with me, sir. <laughs> uh, you don't really knock on the door, per se. No, well, it's, look, those hinges, they add up. The cost of them, they add up. Yeah, and that ledger's going to be winding down. You don't, you know, putting bounties on us. You ain't got to pay out bounties for anyone else, Miss Babe. In the West, that coffer's gonna start coming back up again. You know. That's true. That is true. And uh, you know, while I'm we thirsty. while we keep Valentine, uh, while we keep Blackwater under under control, and we get through this election, it would be nice to yeah, have a, a safer Valentine to be heading up to. So appreciate Indeed. it. And so, what's the name? You know, the name of these groups in Valentine talking about? <sighs> Look, the the main one I'm hearing about is a. Uh, I'm hearing about the Montgomerys. I think the, uh, oh, what's their name? Hillbillies, the other one? There's a lot, Hillbilly, yeah. You got the Hillbillies and Creeds rolling around up there. The Creeds seem all right, but all it's right, these Creed's Hillbilly okay. groups where, yeah, they're, every time I get up there, I'm, I'm hearing about them saying horrible things to you know, women in particular. Are they the ones with the overalls? Yeah, they and they're yeah, just, right. the ones. they're not even willing to get an ID. They, they just want to go live in the, in the mud and uh, the hickeys are another one that comes to mind hickeys are right yeah. um hickeys, you know sort of billy's montgomery's all right but you know, i can't be 100 percent sure it's just yeah we've just valentine feels like the next groundhog popping its head up out of the hole but like you got to serve the governor we got to serve somebody too and they want us to prove ourselves against you know some of these other groups so 
two birds, one stone. You feed us the groups, we'll go improve ourselves. That, you know, sounds like a plan. All right, George. Here's, uh, let me get, uh, what's his name? Bowman's rifle for him. The Woodman. Woodman, that one. The Woodman's going to be so fucking happy. Look, I'm just giving them names so that they go deal with deal with all the gangs. There you go. Uh, hopefully, this will cease Woodman yapping in my ear about his rifle every damn day. Should do. Here's his pistol too. That's very kind of you. There we go. All right. Check. Yeah. Uh, what do I have to think about that? Hell if I know. Would you do this, shall we? There we go. That'll do. All right. That's good meeting you. I'm, I'm happy with that. And I think it'd be beneficial for you too, sir. No, oh, I, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to, to do this civilly. It, it, it's a... It means a lot. It's a, we, we'll, be, we'll be taking note. I appreciate your stop. It's not shooting me in the back of the head. No, I told him no funny business. You know, if, if there's anything like that, I would be, you know, I'd be looking at, you know, if I become sheriff, I'd be looking at firing some people. Well, if someone fired a shot, they was all going to fire a shot too. So that would have been a goddamn no, mess. Understandable. Understandable. All right, George. Uh... Yeah, we'll go through with Lexi. Good chatting. Sounds good. Uh, and, and again, sorry about you. Sorry about your lady. Oh, here she works. She ain't my lady no more. She, uh, like I said, she signed up to work for the governor. So uh, safe to say our paths have diverged. All um, right. Better work. Uh, but yeah, swing by that office sometime and apologize to her for me, will you? I'll, 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 I'll go down there and say, say it to her face as soon as I can. Appreciate it, George. No worries. And uh. Send my condolences to Woodman for uh, renting his rifle for a week. Oh, <laughs> will do. See you later. <laughs> you see how many rode up, man? You see how many rode up? Jesus Christ! It's like a fucking army, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, moist talents. Yo, sorry, I couldn't keep up with chat. I had to focus on that. Oh, God, what are they doing? No, funny business. Holy shit. Yeah, it felt like something out of a TV show, eh? Who the fuck is this now? Holy shit. Just, make, just wait till the fucking coast is clear, eh? Hey, Todd. Hello, how would we go? You tell me. Hold on. Hey. There's your damn guns, Todd. Yo, Cam. Oh, with the Yo, Twerk. Oh Yo, God, Pepper. Please tell me that's it. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. That's the one. Okay. Oh, thank you. That's That wasn't all of it, though. Huh? Now, look, I... We've come to an agreement. Now, you, did you get a count of how many were with him? Uh, that was 15. Jesus Christ, yeah. Yeah, so I hope y'all keep that in mind when I tell you what I have to tell you. you got to realize, okay, uh, you know, you talk about their numbers. We only had a few of our department here when we can normally raise seven to eight, right? 
the that's East still less than same. 15. No, hold up. The East can raise the same, and then you got the Rangers as well. So, you know, if it had to come down. Yeah, I know, but that's that's yeah. literally it for a fucking uh, meeting. People. Yeah, I know. I, I know. They wanted to do a show of force. We, we didn't. All right. Okay. All right, boys, gather around. My Look, God. A lot of people. Count as 15 or 16 people they have. Yeah. Okay. So it's actually very good that Sledge offered those cigars. That 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 helped, uh, you know, smooth it over. He did bring up the guns for Dottie, but he understood that the governor has them under lock and key in the east, which nice. is good. He apologizes, Harkness, for how rough they've been. Todd, he apologizes for how rough they've been with you and renting your guns for a week. And they they're generally they're generally they they want to see the West nice and peaceful like us. Now, we saw a real show of force from them today. Just how many he's got at his back, which is concerning. You know, Todd brings up the point that you know we can call upon the East and the Rangers, but still, at the dry, you know, right. with some preparation, the numbers that Mister Black and Caldern could pull up is it's uh, it's formidable. Uh, I still don't think he, they're the bosses though. Well, you, good thing you bring that up. It's it's it does sound like there's someone sort of you know coaxing them to do you know this and that more than they normally would. So that's something we definitely need to get to the Pingertons and be mindful of, is that there may be something larger at play. But the agreement we've come to, and now I really wanted to have the moment to talk to Harkness before we solidified it, but he was sort of, you know, we want to, you know, in, you know how he talks, you know, oh, we want to have this yeah. sorted now, Georgie boy, you know, what we're going to do. And I'm happy to, you know, if this gets back to the governor, I'm happy to take the rap for it. I've just got the big picture in mind. We got to tear down them wanted posters of Mr. Black and Cal Dern, wipe their slate clean. In return... That whole group and possibly more are gonna are gonna settle down in the West. Now, if they don't, if we find it's any of them boys, we know they've gone back on it. And they've also they've also said that uh, they're gonna be keeping an eye on Valentine. They're actually gonna be having words, not on our behalf, but just pulling in line some of these you know smaller gangs that are acting up. They're gonna they're gonna be a uh, Giving him some tough, lo tough love. So, while while we're wiping the slate clean with these two gentlemen, we're looking at fifteen plus people behaving, as well as pulling into line these damn small time hooligans up in Valentine, which should make the next week. While Hogness and I are dealing with this damn transitional period, a little bit easier. Sometimes the greater good. We have to think about it. That's the thing. I'm trying to think of, I'm, you know, I'm just thinking of, I'm sick of hearing about you boys getting shot, robbed, them holding up locals. Um, we got all this stuff going on. Um, and then we've learned that, yeah, that, you know, if we, you know, we be patient, we can learn more about what they're up to. And, you know, it's it's implied that, you know, after, you know, a couple of weeks or a month or so that, uh, you know, we catch them acting up. They go back to their old ways. It's 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 okay. back on. But we've got to. Well, what about what about the east though? What's if they're going around and arrest them and things like that? Oh, that they, that's east. That's right. What happens in the east happens stays in the east. Um, All right. They said they're not going to necessarily be you know taking out more energy on them over there or anything. But um, I did now. I did have to clarify that there is the odd time where they will call upon us for assistance, and I said we have to answer that. But. Uh, Cal Dern would appreciate if uh, we didn't, you know, go over there willingly any chance we get. Only when we're called upon. Yeah, no, I just so, generally go over there on my off-duty time now, you know. Yeah, same. So, yeah, that, yeah, so if you're over there off-duty, you know, just, yeah, keep your noses clean. Um, mm -hmm. But, but yeah, I hope, I hope they keep up their end of the, the bargain. It sounds like we've bought ourselves a couple of weeks of uh, peace and... You know, hopefully these gangs up in Valentine get their, you know, get their act together. To so what? Do, uh, I guess the other thing is we're going to watch out for now, though, is uh, now that Dottie's working for the government, 
governor isn't you know they're gonna go after the governor in some weird way cal Dern uh, was so. he, he was actually quite respectful about it he was very much he was very fast to admit that you know she's not his girl anymore but he still cares for her but he he respects and acknowledges that she's not his girl anymore per se he he that was probably the most human i've ever heard him talk was was when uh, he had brought that up unless she's working for him to get evidence info on him that's i had that same thought jack we need to yeah. we need to be very careful not to speak too loud in front of her oh definitely not and the governor needs to be careful too yes now speaking of the governor i think it's best that i get out ahead of this and i go speak to the governor now just to bring him up to speed best, better, best idea just you know but you know if this if this isn't to his liking i'll happily take it i just I'm just glad I've bought everyone a couple of weeks apiece so we can, you know, get all the new deputies trained up and ready for when all right, so shit gets really good. All right, so just the rules one more time for us all so we understand. Right. Clean slate for Mr. Caldern Wiles and Mr. John Black. Rip those posters down. Clear the slate. There's no fire, no outstanding charges against them. There's no uh, prison time in the West. They are at square one. Or zero, if you want to put it like that. And then uh, we just stay out of their way. Uh, oh, question on that. Once we do Start, see him yes. doing something wrong, then we arrest him. Mm -hmm. have to Did you get your gun back? No, no. Yeah, well, that's the thing. They they agreed that they would uh they they'd simmer down. So yeah, oh, if we okay. catch him doing oh, anything, like, you know, if I do see him doing something wrong, you're we're allowed to arrest him. That's right, because that's them going against the agreement. Yeah. Okay. So I was just telling the rest hall here, Sledge and and Jeb that uh they uh Mister Mister John Black and Mister Calvin Wiles. We're ripping down their posters, their their mm -hmm. charges and everything are down at square one. They are going to stop causing trouble in the West for a time. And mm -hmm. um, they're gonna have a they're gonna give some tough love to the little gangs up in Valentine. Um Alrighty. Which was Yeah, because um sorry about before, myself and Jeb were just talking about uh trying to squash the you know, the arguments between the East and the West. Oh, absolutely no. That un understandable. What well, what I just told you is, is the is the short version, but I'm going to be going giving the governor an update now because if the governor's not happy with this little agreement, I'm I'll, I'm wearing it. I'm just glad I've bought you boys, hopefully a couple of weeks, and the West in general just a bit of peace. Um, but Jeb, Jeb, rest assured, they did say they were going to amp up anything in the East. They said they wouldn't, or they would. No, they said they wouldn't. They didn't mention anything okay. about you know taking out. Taking out their frustrations on the east. He yeah, still wants enough. that gun back for Dottie. <laughs> yeah. But I did say, Governor says no. Um, yeah, well. and, and Sledge, thank you for those cigars. That that really... Yeah, I looked in my uh, bonus there and I saw him pull them out. I'm like, yes, it worked. He <laughs> was, Cal Dern was actually very impressed. That you know he was, he was happy with just a handshake. But I said, look, thanks to Sledge, I can do you one better. And he, uh, you know, he... Uh, He's a troubled fella, but he, 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 there's a side of him, if, if he could just, there's a good fella underneath all that. I have seen it in spurts. Yeah, you should have heard him talk about Dottie. He, there was, like Jeb said, there was real remorse in his voice and he just, you know, he acknowledges that she's not his girl anymore and he was really, really quite uh, mature about it. I just, I'm glad he brought it up, not you. <laughs> well, it was a bit awkward at the start. I was saying, you know, I was asking him generally, how are you? Because I was trying to see if he would, you know, dig a bit deeper. And, uh, you know, he mentioned about the girl. And I said, you know, I'm sorry to hear that. And it's, at first he was like, oh, you know, whatever, George, you don't give a shit. And I'm thinking, well, no, the lawmen at large, we care about every citizen here. We don't want everybody fighting and shooting each other. What about Walter? Yeah, no mention Walter? of Walter. Oh, okay. <laughs> Surprise. Luckily, but uh, but yeah, that's long and short of a gentleman, and I better go. Um, go see what the say, government has to say. Um, well done. That not a single shot was fired. Hundred yeah, percent. Even though there was about twenty of them. Yeah, like on our side and their side, that was amazing to see. I felt that rumble coming in, boys, and I oh. saw him ride past you, and I'm sitting oh. over here without oh. a gun. Oh. Oh. See no, I, I'm not reporting to that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> He's not on duty. Um, no, a, I'm not on duty. I have a chat with you, uh, sir, um, Sheriff Hughes, as well as Sheriff Harkness. Not a problem. Yeah, I'd, I'd just for about thirty seconds. I, I, I'm not in a race to get down to Blackwater and see the governor. <laughs> so yeah, feel free to feel free to ask some questions. Alrighty, let's go. I'll wait because I want to see Mr. Hughes. 
Oh, we'll go over here. Just so not prying ears. Oh boy. Yes, right, your genes yeah. acting. Well, I just internal affairs. That's right. Just wanted to word you up on. We just got spoken to by the uh, governor of commerce. Is that was his rank? Was who? Hunts? The governor? What? Some uh, the so the big boss man who uh, sells and uh, purchases businesses. Um, God, what's his name? I know his name. Something. Fuck. Um, Hamish. Hamish, Hamish McBear. Yeah, we actually found the it. governor of uh, or governor or something a council of commerce. It's money. I'm not <laughs> big on those words. Right. Um, he's actually investigating John Black and Calder as business owners. Oh fuck! Not now. They've, uh, not yeah, now. that's why I thought I'd tell you. Uh, oh, so he's notified us that they've sold, well, attempted to sell their businesses the wrong way, and Cal's already lost his business. He did mention that. He was very fr He said, yeah, he was very quick to say at the start, I lost my girl in my business in one day, George. I'm like, oh, boy. But he didn't really direct it at us. I hear Tom the same thing this morning. Or this afternoon. Sorry. He's just happy. We wipe him and Mr. Black's slates clean, and we, you know, take it easy next few weeks with their group. But they're going to keep out of our hair, too. That's that's it. So, what else? That's pretty much it, sir. Um, I just thought I'd let you know now. Uh, just in case it doesn't come up here like oh, I didn't know. Oh, no, good. I'd, I'd yeah. rather you know now than find out later. No, he seemed like his frustration was definitely pointed towards the government in general yeah. about that. But that's that because yeah, if he learns more and he comes find me now, now, now I now I've got some ammunition. I can Hamish McBeth, Governor of Commerce. Yes, Gov right. is it Governor of Commerce? Is that correct? I think so. It's something like Commerce. Just um, a guy of Commerce. Commerce man. Commerce yeah. man, correct. Um, he is red-headed with a, a moustache, red moustache, uh, blue suit. Oh, uh, uh, Deputy uh, Kelly and Cyrus uh, processed him yesterday because he, oh, he was the one with the mask following a, a business owner yelling out, I got to talk to you about your business while stalking him at night. And oh, so geez. they shot him. Um, that doesn't well. Not a good so first meeting, but, you know. So he was trying to do his job, but in a weird way. <laughs> we, he had a mask on, and he was following him at night in a, on a back road. Yeah, I said, look, I'm not telling you how to do your job, but that's probably not the best way to approach someone you never met yeah. before. Yeah, and also I spoke to, didn't want to say that loud, spoke to Jeb. Um, I would like a clean slate between departments, if that's all right with you guys. So oh, I didn't want to speak fine. in your behalf. But, 100%. Um, yeah, but that's your job at the moment. You yeah, are internal affairs, so. That, uh, I just yeah. want no beef. If there's banter, that's banter. Banter's great. Yeah, Keep that's yeah. I thought it was just Dinger's uh, hat. So I thought it was just I. about Dinger's hat. And you, know, you were right to you know, you, you all mentioned that they tackle each other in that, but that's you know, it's not a. Like big. in my experience, they tackled each other once or twice in front of the public. But Gabe pulled them up, said, "Don't do that." Um, the the marshal, U.S. marshal Gabe. Uh, what's his last? I'm bad with last names. Uh, Esther. Um, Esther. Esther. That's the one. Um, but. Other than that, it's usually just within no one's around. So they have a bit of fun, which, you know, have a bit of fun. Yeah. Me, me, myself yeah. and uh, Chef Harkness, we're, we're, we're old breeds. So, like, it's, i got arthritis, man. You know, like, oh, I just, I don't want to get, have, I don't, I like having a bath, but I don't like having three baths in one day. Skin yeah, gets all. Especially considering our jurisdiction is very muddy and dirty. Yeah. yeah. I, I, <laughs> It just gets a bit much sometimes. Well, that that's excellent to hear. No, I, I I can't imagine anyone in the West doesn't want to have a good time with the East. We love bumping into them. Oh yeah. But I just thought the animosity needs to disappear. So hundred percent. No, Jeb. it's it's. He's going to go have a chat with his. Uh, yeah, none of this stuff's and... personal. We're all just. It's... We're doing the same job, so. Yeah, everyone just get on with it. It's there's no. Yeah, I, I I've never. I just got annoyed when I suspected Dinger was. Frank Colin, it's like, don't abuse the new phone system. I was actually in the East when that happened. So. <laughs> oh, I, that hat, yeah. it's that hat. It makes him do things. There's the ding of done sat, sir. All right. Yes. <laughs> oh, people should wear that with it being bad, too. Oh, well, fellas, really appreciate your work tonight because, yeah, no, I, you. there was a lot of them, but I just, I, yeah, it was good to see you look over on that hill and know you boys were there. And I, I appreciate all the info and everything. It, sound, it sounds like we can really turn over a page, um, get through this Definitely. damn damn week and the next few weeks should be okay for us and we can well in positioning i told the deputies uh you know positions of arc so looking at between certain points and then when they all rocked up i was like 
That went out the window because there's 20 of them. <laughs> well, there they are. They're not hard. They made it pretty uh, yeah, clear. I was, I was waiting for like some people, you know, maybe some, some people with glass looking at us, but there was, yeah, 16 or 17 of them or something. I was like, yeah, that was a shitload. <laughs> we're fucked <laughs> if anything happens. I, I was thinking, you know, I, I, I was saying to Harkness, you know, I really wish I had a chance to, you know, run this by Harkness before I go shaking a hand, but I was thinking, I think Harkness would be inclined to agree that, you know, seeing 15 oh, of them rock up, that we need more time. We need a we need a buffer. And you did well, sir. Oh, definitely did well. I was just trying to listen to him because he, I know he can be. He talks. He, a lot. he can he can get heated more than me, and I, oh, that's what 100%. we that's what we need. The two of us strangling each other under a tree, and then y'all blowing each other to hell. Like me, me and myself and Carl, we we have history from when I was in the east, and we we squashed that bet very damn quickly. Um, oh, good. And then we see each other in the west, and he's. You said, mate, what happens in the East stays in the East. Oh, like, cool. He had good words to say about yourself, Harkness, Woodman in particular. So Sounds good. So it sounds like yeah, a I good Yeah, I saw John Black there as well. Oh, yeah. I saw, uh, saw my shotgun. Oh, <laughs> well, look, don't give up on it just yet. You know, I got nah. we got Woodman's damn Springfield rifle back. Maybe I, your I shotgun's heard. next. Congratulations. Look, we Nick, actually got told by them before you told us. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it. Like, how done, God damn it. We've set it. We've set a date. We've set a time. And he's bumming into Harkness. He's bumming into Woodman, bumming into the governor. We Stick to the damn. I put it in my calendar, Cal Dern. <laughs> Hold your horses and be patient. Yeah, you meant to have a, weren't you meant to have a meeting with a few days ago? No, we, well, I wanted a few days ago. But, uh, yeah. you know, Alexi told me that, uh, uh, that just Thursday night would work. That between eight and nine. So I said, fine. So and then they said eight thirty, but then he's still trying to bring it up early. I'm like, no, we we made an agreement. God damn it! Like if you yeah, wanted it earlier, you should have booked it sooner. <laughs> it's pretty well true. <laughs> it's whatever. It's cow dirty, you know. Whatever. He did shoot me today. So I was all right, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna oh, go. Yeah, that's. I'm gonna. That's, I'm, that's I'm gonna go tell the governor all this, and you know, if he's not happy with it, I'm gonna wear it. I'll take one for the team, and then look, it's it's been a week. Um, it's been crazy. I've got a well, lot of errands to run. Up to tonight, I might not be around until like Monday or Tuesday night. I've got a lot of things to take care of. So after my meeting with the governor, I might look. If it's all right with you, Jack, I might actually, you know, go take Miss Wheeler out That's to dinner good. or you something. Need one. You need a break. Uh, it's crazy. She, she recently just became a full fledged doctor, and I'd really like to very nice. congratulate her. Oh, I did her. see her, and I did congratulate, but. Uh... Make sure to uh, send across our congratulations again. I will. I'd like to go buy her a bottle of wine or something. Is you know, a steak. Is she, is she the one collecting <laughs> bullets? Yes, correct. That's the one with the jar of bullets. She's very sentimental, Thomas. and uh, she has a document from Deputy Marshal Ames that she can punch me she whenever she wants. She showed me today. Yeah, so I'm pretty in good. Tears. So I, I am, I am doing my best to, to do my best by her. Um, she, she means a lot to me, and. Uh, she makes the days uh, go by a bit easier, so I'm gonna, yeah. I got like a horse riding up on us. Oh shit! Mast. Turn out. Is that, is that fucking Lou? I swear to God, he's always rocking yeah, up. Yeah, looks like him. <laughs> yo, mm, yo frog. Here. Also, everyone else yep, in chat. It's all good. Yo, yo, yo. Sorry, it's. Lots of lots of RP right now, but thank yeah, cool shit. They have eh? so many fucking people. They do. Yep. You didn't see the fucking army roll Not in. Jurisdiction, ladies I and was, gentlemen. I was there the whole time. Of course you were. Were you in the tree? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we ruined his positioning. We went they up did. on that hill and he's like, "Fuck, you stole my spot." <laughs> <laughs> uh, gentlemen, I'm gonna borrow Mister Hughes for a second. Oh okay, fuck. Do it so good. Okay, after the. Oh. Come with me. Oh, Good training. I gotta see the governor, Miss oh, Wheeler, this. after this. We'll be five minutes. All right. Fucking hell. So many meetings. The fire department. See you, yeah, Sledge. No. Let them all know that if I don't see him tonight, I'll see y'all next week. All righty. That's if Miss Wheeler hasn't killed me. We won't be long, Mister Hughes. That's fine. I just it's meeting after meeting today. I know. I'm sorry. Uh -oh. Sorry, my head. Uh, my head. Let's 
is it this way? <laughs> Damn it, it <laughs> Watch how Lou's always doing this. You gotta come with me. What now? <laughs> Yo, a few beers. Ah, oh, that was cinematic as fuck, dude. That was that was great. Get some get some screenshots out of that and no, chuck that through the AI. Is, yeah, there's something going on that I do not like. Mm. You know how I just expressed about uh, what's going on with the governor? Uh, re refresh my memory. Dotty Goldsworth. Oh yeah, right. yeah. I gotta go apologize to her after this and then speak to the governor. Well, apparently. She's the governor's personal assistant. Yeah, he introduced me as her, as that today. Uh, yeah, I'm having a hard time. We're all having a hard time believing it. I don't, I'm not buying it at all. Now, a few of those people that approached you today, the same outfits have been worn to rob banks with. Mm, I bet. Now, I'm going to be writing up an, an investigation. Of course. To the chief inspector. And I will make sure that you get to see this report because something does not add up. What? I feel like she may be getting information from the governor. Well, I, they, they people say she's turned over a new leaf, but you know, in in you know, it just seems like a mighty fine coincidence that she's now you know sitting pretty with the governor. Apparently, she yeah, she has turned a leaf, new leaf, and apparently, uh, she has no, she's not in cahoots with Cowdern Wiles. Well, who's she giving information to? I'm not sure. So, wait, is this information working against us or for us? Against us. What? Now, look, I said something doesn't seem right, and I'm going to find out what. Well, Cowdern almost implied that there's someone, you know, that that wants him and Mr. Black and others, to prove themselves. That's the impression I got from him, is that there's yeah. something more going on. Uh, something, okay. So, I don't know, if you see if you see Cal Dern and Mr. Black meeting with someone every now and again at like a certain time, certain place, or something that, you know, fits a pattern, I'd be yep. taking note of that. Will do. Oh, um, like I said, I'll look into it. Well, Lou, I've, was... I've, 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 I've hopefully secured the west some peace and quiet from that large group over the next yep. few weeks they're going to be get, sharing some tough love with the with the small groups in valentine so it's almost like pit them against each other let them wipe each other out but in exchange we do have to tear down their posters and their their you know all their infamy here in the west You all right there, Lou? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, can you hear me? Can yeah. Hear? Sorry. If we have to do that, we have to do that. I just... But you saw that. You saw how many there was. I did. We don't have that kind of manpower in the West that we can just pull out at the drop of a hat. No, we don't. But if we can slowly uncover who's behind those masks and who's in those, uh, you know, who's those, who, who's those writers are, well, then maybe I we can... Uh, Capture them one, one by one. Lou, I'd, I'd almost say that you just got to walk down the main street of Blackwater, throw a stone, and it'll land on one of them riders. Well, yeah. Well, when I went through Blackwater now, there was nobody there. As soon as I uh, was about to leave Blackwater, a lot of people in Black turned up. Oh, shit. So, highly not coincidental, Mr. Hughes. <sighs> this is a very stressful time, and it's right when Sheriff Bowman's stepping down and... Well, Harkness and I got to be, we're, we're, you know, holding the fort and then we're going to have an election. It's so, it's, I just want to do my job, Lou. I don't need this politics shit going on. I just want to, I'm just trying to fight the good fight, damn it. I don't want to be going out selling myself to people. Like, Please vote for George Hughes. It's, it's too much. I know. It, it can be a bit tough, but. Someone's gonna take over. Someone needs to take over the West. Look, if if they vote me in, they vote me in. But I'm not. You know, I'll step up to the plate. But I'm not. You know, I'm not racing after it either. You do what's best for you. Well, we'll see what happens. Come this time right. next week. I guess we'll see what's happened. What do you say that we uh, let Blackwater have a bit of fear of George Hughes? Pull your horse, Mister Hughes. 
get your get your uh no i think i list. think word's gonna spread about this meat and i think that's i think that's plenty i'm, I'm trying i'm trying to it? i'm trying to send a good message that we're you know the law department we're willing to talk yeah. and reason with people rather than just gun everyone down all right i'd I'm like to keep it like that i was gonna let you capture me take me back after a little gunfight no, no, I appreciate it a little bit. Let's. <laughs> I, I want to, you know, I feel good about what message that sent. Because right. that's how, no if I was sheriff, that's how I want to run things. Sounds good. All right, Mr. Hughes. Then, like I said, I'll look into what's going on with Dottie and the uh, that whole gang. All right. But uh, let's keep that between you and I. Sounds good, Lou. Sounds good. All right, Mr. Hughes, I'll leave you to it. All right. See you next time, partner. See you later. <laughs> no a few beers dude like we had our little group like ready for a group and then the fucking rohirrim roll in like the ground's fucking shaking and like i'm just looking at it like yeah we're definitely not we're definitely not gonna you know we're definitely not gonna cause a problem because like we are outnumbered like three to fucking one um jesus christ like, that was something out of a movie, man. That was, that was... Yeah, gonna have to go back and, um, get some screenshots of that. That was a sight to see. <laughs> Mr. Hughes, is that you? Oh! Oh, yeah, Jeb! Oh, hello. Yeah, sorry, you wanted to see me too. It. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Are Whatever you, you need, partner. Hello? What can I do for you? Oh, it's Jeb. Yeah, no, sorry, so I was whispering, my bad. Oh, no, that's all right. Um, I was just going to, uh, wanted to catch up with you about everything that happened. If you got a moment, or you're... No, no right well, I'm, I'm just on my way to see the governor, but it's not a set meeting, so I got time. All the time you need, Jeb. Uh, I, I'm happy to ride with you there, if you like. Yeah, let's, let's just take it slow. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, I just wanted to double check. I guess that this is sort of maybe something we can both speak to the governor about. Yep. Is what this means for the East, because I guess... If their slate has been cleaned here, does that mean we need to honor that in the East too? No, or? not at all. Cal Dern actually brought it up first that he, he acknowledged that while it'll be scratched off here in the West, right. it's still fair game over there. Whatever you, okay. got, whatever y'all have got, still got against him, you, you got it. And he is, uh, like, I think you did say this, but just, uh, just to clarify, yep. he is aware that he would not be giving those weapons back. Yeah, no, I told him that, uh, you know, that we've discussed it, but that the, the governor's got him under lock and key. And, you know, that's, that's right. above y'all. That's, you know, it's not happening. No, uh, that's right. Um, and, uh, you know, and he was also suggestive of, like, now, y'all here in the West better not go running over the East to help him all the time. And I said, look, we only get cold by him every now and again, but even then, they miss, we miss, you know, we miss the calls. It takes us time to get over there. We ain't running over there all the time anyway, so... No. And that's it. So after speaking to Mr. Sledge, you know, I, I said at the end of the day, we are all sheriffs, you know, so. No, that's we right. Can, we can help each other out when we need to. Obviously, we can't be doing it all the time. Like a good example is when the martial law came in, you know, we came over and helped out that one that. Oh, you we know? appreciated that so much. And, and anything that's, you know, dealing with people that do a lot on both sides. Mm -hmm. of the of the border like that's yeah no I, and i i love bumping into like yourself kenneth hey, even dinger no, sometimes <laughs> okay yeah i can understand that yeah i just wanted to make sure that uh like what you know even though yeah uh obviously what you chatted to cal about applies here but we're still separate in that sense because yeah as i mentioned up on the hill I got some personal issues I need to work out with Mr. Cow. He did, uh, he did, I did, he did speak kindly about you, if that's worth no, anything, to a no, degree. He, he's, he's not, like, he's nice enough. And I said to him, no, he apologized for what happened. And that's fine. And I said to him, look, Mr. Cow, I will always happily forgive someone as one man to another. But your actions need to speak louder than your words. And yeah. I said, until you turn yourself in and do your time, I don't know if I can fully like say I could consider you a friend. I agree. You know, I agree. I can forgive you, but I can't be your friend until that happens. You know. What I, I mean? was trying to strike a. I was wanting to strike a deal with him, saying, you know, you do the hard time, and maybe we'll look at, you know, getting rid of the charges. But you got to go do some time, and 
in there. Yeah, exactly. You can go do them with Dottie if you're going to miss each other that much. Yeah, I mean, technically, I know she's working for the governor now. I don't know how that all works, but she still has an outstanding warrant, too. So I, I don't know if that's been cleared or what's happening there. I, I would say the governor has cleared it. But yeah, I, which I do, probably makes sense. But I don't know for sure. But yeah, I, we yeah. don't like it. Just keep your voice down around her if you're talking about anything, but, you know. Oh, hi, okay. ma'am. You look beautiful today. Is that... Yeah. Is, what what perfume is that? Oh, is the governor <laughs> yeah. in? Oh, goodbye, ma'am. You know, lovely to see you. Yeah. You, you two-time and No, I get that. I get that. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, get just that. need a lot to, you it's know. Oh, wow. Is that a new dress, ma'am? What have you done with your hair? My yeah, goodness yeah. gracious. Oh, uh, are you always wearing that red bow? Uh, <laughs> uh, would oh. never guess. It oh. looks like new every time I see you. Oh, it really brings out your eyes. Oh my <laughs> goodness gracious! Yeah, it's I get yeah, it. it's. Oh, we gotta um, navigate a lot of shit. Some of your fellows, what's that? We gotta navigate a lot of shit in this job, don't oh. we? It's, oh yeah. It's never fucking oh, simple, yeah. is it? And it, and it can go from uh, a nice peaceful conversation to tense as you, you cut it with a knife in a blink of an eye. Well, I'm glad you were here to witness how many of them riders came in there. Oh, you, you yeah. know, you can tell the rest of the East Department firsthand that you saw what what we're dealing with. Yeah. I uh, had my camera out just in case, ready to take some photos. I hid in the bush like I said I would. Didn't want to get involved, but I was ready. I had my camera ready to go. Oh, glad to case. hear it. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see how it all goes. Uh, but I, I don't suspect. Look, I know particularly Miss Tessa and Mr. Kenneth is pretty upset. I mean, mm. even my partner Lily, you know, that night I got shot. It was pretty touch and go, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there was a couple of times where I stopped breathing and things like that. But they saw all that, all three of them saw that. And yeah. I don't know if they could really. You know, forgive themselves if they just let that sort of stuff go. So we'll see what happens, how it pans out. I really hope this is a a, a better a better time for everybody. I agree. You know, there's uh, you know, as you have seen, there's you know, always going to be crime. There's people robbing and, th and things like that. But you know, these big organized groups, and they uh, really don't take any prisoners or things like that. Just it really, uh, it really puts a dampener on it for everybody. I feel like it but, is, and I really, you know, I, I I worry for your safety, not just for your own, but then how Miss uh, Lily would take it. Oh yeah, uh, you're I, right. I find myself, you know, we're still we're just friends. We're no, just I good know. friends, but I I find myself fearing, you know, what if all this comes back to Miss Wheeler, you know. It, Oh yeah, it's a terrifying every day, thought. Every day I I tell Miss Lily that she needs to be safe, and I know she's a you know a pleasant lady, so not many people want to hurt her. But I always remind her that you know you know there's certain people in this world they can be pleasant to you all all the time, but the moment you don't walk the way they want you to, or don't say the things that you want, they they could hurt you just as much. You oh, know, I feel bad. I'm. It's been really tough as, you know, in a leadership position, you're sometimes having to, you know, be a bit strict with the boys, and I, I just hope they never take it personally. Oh, where's the governor nah. now? What's he doing running around the back? Oh, and he's coming back. Okay. Okay. All right, well, I better go see him before he, I don't know. God knows what he does with his spare time, but yeah, lovely to see you, Jeb. And look, you too, Mr. Hughes. And Jeb, I imagine you know about the, uh, the uh, the election coming up for the next sheriff of the West. Oh, I did not. Well, the next week we're probably looking at that. Look, I, I imagine I'll be in the run, and like I'm not going to oh. be going out, you know, doing a campaign or nothing. I pe pe people don't know me by now, then whatever. You know, if yeah, I get voted in, enough. I get voted in. I ain't yeah. chasing that. I just want to. I just want to do my job. But I was just thinking that. Um, yeah, if I get do that, I'd love to, you know, make sure that we maintain a great relationship with the oh, East and have course. a sit down yeah. maybe once a week or once a fortnight, and mm -hmm. even if it's just oh, over but... dinner and just, you know, talk, you know, keep up to date. And yeah, know, I agree. And actually, Mr. Woodman of all people suggested it. He said maybe a once a week meeting, at least between, uh, you know, or a member of the leadership of each district like it doesn't have to be the sheriff directly but it could be senior deputy or above that's you know, right uh, yeah mix it up just sit down to see you know, what's happening on your side what's happening on our side that's that sort of thing it's absolutely oh. right oh i think you're needed behind you no well, howdy hello oh is everything all right yeah, yeah. 
Oh, okay. Never mind. Sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt you. That's alright. That's alright. You might want to flee your horse before you ride off. Uh, if you're taking the boat. Ah. Just heads up. Thank you. All right, Jeb. Great you're to right. see you as always. You too. I better go see the All governor. Right. Yeah, good luck, Mr. Hughes. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything. Always. You too. All right. <laughs> Time for another meeting. Yeah, the big office over here. Oh, hello, Sheriff. How you doing? Oh, howdy, Governor. Yeah. Uh, hello, is that uh, you, Mr. Hughes? Uh, howdy, Pond. Are you at the court case? Uh, yes, see, uh, I was the, yes, the lawyer, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember you. Yeah, that was a that was a hell of a time. I, I've just popped in, Governor. If you've got a minute soon, I just would like to just uh, uh, let you know, give you an update on the situation here in the West. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So let's step into my office. Uh, th thank, thank you uh, for uh, your introductions before there. Uh... No, it's uh, good to meet you, uh, Mr. Governor Smiley, uh, Joe person. Uh, I'm uh, looking forward to working for you. Uh, and uh, well, Mr. Hughes, well, good to see you. And if you need me, I'll be in my office. Uh, of course. See. You have a good time. And uh, is your beard shorter than I remember? Uh, no, it recently, well, it might be a little bit. I recently shaved and it's grown back. Oh. Well, it looks like you cut one of your eyebrows. I'd be careful. You don't want to shave your eyebrows. Yeah, you know, I'd... Get it's weird. been a week. Well, it's been a day. <laughs> well, yes, seven days. It is a week. See. Okay, my friend, you have a good time. No worries, partner. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time, sir. No, no, you're, you're more than welcome, son. All right. Spill it on me. What's happening? Well, uh, the thing, as you, as you know, sir, I uh, I organized a sit down with Mr. Calburn Wiles today. How'd that go? Well, it actually went surprisingly well, sir. Um, oh, that's some good news. That's definitely what I need to hear today. Um, it was actually, uh, I was actually pleasantly surprised how civil he can actually be. And it reminds me that, you know, just like when we had that incident the other day, that it's important if we can all just try and use our words first rather than, you know, just cutting each other down. So... I believe I have been successful in guaranteeing a period of peace here in the West from that significantly large group, sir. I, I'm, we're talking, you know, 15 plus people in an organized group that have been preying on the innocent and the, and the, and the lawmen of these parts recently. But that, I believe I have secured a, a time of peace with that. And let me guess, there's a, there's a price to pay for this? Well, it's not... It could be worse, sir. It's just he's just asked if we tear down them posters and clean the slate of Mr. Mr. Black and Mr. Wiles. Just those two. Just in the West. Boys, I can't keep paying for these criminals to keep going that scot free. I know, sir. It's just we, we I feel we did I feel like we need a bit of time to recruit more lawmen. We we were a if this was a standard day of us versus them, they have out they have us outnumbered three or four to one. Oh, got my balls in a vice. It feels like I know, sir. Th this is all on. I, I told this is this isn't on Harkness or anyone. This is just on me, sir. No, look, I I'm not angry at you, son. I think you made the right decision. Anything that's going to stop bloodshed or the possible, you know. The, you know, the civilians up in arms, or worse yet, not voting for me next year. Um, you know, I think this is the right, you know, decision you've made. It's just, uh, I, I, you know, I'm trying to, I'm really trying to give you boys the money y'all need to keep going, but you're going to need to start putting these criminals behind bars and getting them paying their bills because money's going to go dry eventually. I know, sir, and that, that, that really terrifies me. We've, uh, Harkness and I have made a considerable effort to remind uh, all the department in the West that uh, we need to be uh, very strict with fines in particular uh, just yeah. to keep, keep that coming in and uh, confiscating firearms and illegal items when we can. Um, it's just, sir, I'm... 
I I'm thinking of maybe doing some calculations. It's just, uh, you know, on average, you know, we have a, a, a handful, uh, on average, a handful of lawmen available most nights uh, for, for in about a six-hour window. And, uh, you know, that's uh, people ranging from deputies to captains. And uh, it's just, you know, when you take the amount of money that it takes for all of them to be on duty for that time compared to the amount of crimes that we are alerted to and the amount of crimes that we can get to and then the amount of crimes where we actually are successful in apprehending anyone, it's its its heavily stacked against us, sir. That's the problem, son. I, yeah, what's the solution? You, you've given me a whole bunch of problems, but I need solutions. I, have, have you considered maybe, maybe gently taxing Taxing the local populace? Taxing. That, that's that's your solution, taxing. Like an extra dollar on a loaf of bread and such, and that comes to the government? You think that if I go up to everyone and say, hey, my sheriff's on putting people behind bars. Let me, let, you know what? Everyone needs to pay an extra two dollars <laughs> so we can, you know, pay them more and more people come in and do the job. You think that's the solution? Well, well, you wouldn't put it like that, sir. It's just you wouldn't really... You wouldn't really mention it at all. You just just one day people would go down and buy bread or 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 a like a can of a can of something, and it yeah it do it would just happen to be you know maybe fifty cents more than usual. People people probably wouldn't notice, right? And it's it's for the greater good. You know what, son? That gives me an idea, and then and then maybe every year I could inflate it. That's just, just, just small, just gradually, just a little bit every time. Like it's you know. Even if it's ten cents a month, just till you get it up to like an extra dollar, and then that's you know every extra dollar on literally, you know, I'm talking you know the ferry rides, the train rides, the loaf of bread, uh, uh, businesses, you know, there's all just that extra dollar all there, and that quickly becomes you know an extra thousand dollars that comes back into the law department, all so that we can keep because like, because we're serving them. Yes, yes, that could work and. I could probably also keep wages the same over those years, so the the tax is still the same and the wages stay the same. And, and yes, and I guess yes. you know, and then later on, you know, extra an extra fifty cents in that dollar, you know, that then could go to build more bridges and more roads. Like we severely need a proper road and bridge, like footbridge and horse bridge between Blackwater and the rest of the country. So it's like it's nice to see there's a train ride out here now, but it, it's it. It's, everyone has to go down through a gully, sir, and it's it's a little primitive. Well, the problem with that, son, is I still, you know, getting those, you know, every every 50 cents or so still ain't going to pay for, you know, getting your bridge, you know, everything else you want on top of, you know, I'm, I'm struggling to pay the goddamn rangers. I, I know, sir. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just spitballing here now, you know, while we're just talking about it, but it's... No, we are we are going to be working very hard here in the West to remind everyone keep the fines coming in. You know, as long as it's as long as it's reasonable. But it's just th there are some days where just uh, no no crime no criminals are apprehended, sir. And then that's that it, we we're not balancing out the ledger. It's we're on duty, ready to perform our duty, but then there's nothing happening. Mm. Is it? Oh, yeah. It's just there's some days where I, I go and I, I'm riding around the country and just sometimes we don't have the numbers to have everyone, uh, you know, ideally I'd love to see, you know, two people in Blackwater, two in Strawberry and two in Valentine and then maybe another two at the Emma Ranch. But the average day, we don't have that. And, we, and we're and we still trying to train people up. Well, that's the dream. I remember, I remember when I went for election, it was kind of what I proposed. I was like, I want a sheriff stationed in every town. That's a dream, but that dream costs money, and as I've just found out, money doesn't grow on trees. No, sir, and I, I, I'm not, I'm not meaning to criticize or anything. I'm just being realistic with you. I, I try and, I try and say it as it is, and I'll, I'll always wear it. Uh, I respect that, Mister Hughes. That's why you were in the position you are. And saying that, uh, I've got a, my biggest problem is from everything you've told me. About you know your your boys out you know riding around and not got much to do because there ain't any crimes. I've also got the civilians coming to me saying there's too much crime and never have enough sheriffs. I know, sir. It's just it always seems to be happening where we ain't. Hmm. 
they, maybe boys we crafty. need to start thinking maybe we need to start thinking about maybe smaller groups but bigger patrols and working on our communication or maybe sending out some pigeons or something to call for backup or something i would like to see more pairs like and at the very least a pair between strawberry and blackwater and a pair between emerald ranch and valentine and then maybe another pair you know getting around all the stations and the points of interest it's just you know at the moment it's currently the, the only people that are you know are for, for, currently formidable is myself harkness sledge woodman sykes i think just that that's that's one hand but then we do have cyrus kelly and a few others on the way up but it's just it's early days yet it's 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 really tough sir we got a lot of ground to cover well, son, you are the sheriff, and I think you have the best judgment of mine. Why well, pay you to be the sheriff? So, well, I'm not the sheriff yet, sir. Just acting sheriff with harness. Well, don't sell yourself short, son. If you get the job, whether it's just temporary or for the thing, it's because you earned it. Well, I hope so, sir. I'm doing my best. Well, you've done something good today, and that's uh, that's already going down in the uh, history of you know. Not non, non no, uh, any negotiation that led to a shooting. But I feel like every negotiation we've ever had led to shooting. I would rather I'd rather we see less people die. I, I don't think that really sets a good example for the try, the kind of country we're trying to live in. No, I 100 percent agree. I need those people alive because I need them to vote for me next year. And and I I don't I don't know if I speak for everyone, sir, but even. Even if the ledges do run dry, I would I would still be performing not my duties, sir. I would just then find time to go hunting and stuff to to feed my feed myself. But I, I would still be putting in the work as best I could, sir. I respect that, Mister Hughes. I do respect that, but I want to make sure that you boys aren't going hungry. I know, sir. I just, but you know, just just keep that tax idea in the back of your head, because just think about how many loaves of bread are sold every day. Um. And then how much that is a week, every per month, you know that. That could be enough. Hmm. All right, I'll need to think about this. Is there anything else you need to tell me, Mister Hughes? Oh, just have you seen Miss Wheeler recently? <laughs> Miss Wheeler, I actually, I have. I actually know I did. I bumped into her briefly in uh, the center of Blackwater about maybe like twenty minutes ago. I haven't seen her since. Right, uh, because I was yeah, I was hoping because I'll be away for a, about four days, sir. So I was hoping to hoping to catch up with her soon. So I'm I'm gonna go off duty and and see if I can find her just to spend some time with her and make sure she's all right. All right. Well, you enjoy your break, Mister Hughes, and thank you for telling me how it is. I I figured you'd find out one way or another, sir. It's better if I just come come clean with it and uh and I'll be I'll be rejuvenated and ready to hit the ground running when I get back next week. Well, sounds like a plan, son. Oh, no, uh, until next time, sir. You take care. Oh, Mr. Hughes. Oh, yes, sir. Don't let the, uh... Don't let Miss Wheeler get in the way of your duties. Remember, you are the sheriff now. I know, sir. It's, uh, when we're on... we're on. She's a doctor now, and uh, when we're on duty, it's strictly professional. Uh, if we're doing anything else, it's, it's, it's uh, we are off duty, sir. All righty. Well, keep up the good work, son. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'll, I'll be seeing you. See you soon. <laughs> Fucking hell. Good day. Yeah, see you later, Mr. Hughes. You <laughs> <laughs> know. Fucking hell. Yo, crowd. Um, I I will go back and get a clip and some screenshots when I can. Um, hundred percent. Um, no, I, I save every VOD as a highlight, and then I download the VOD, and then I upload it to YouTube as well. So there's a, just 99% of the VODs I've done as Hughes since launch last year, uh, saved on my Twitch and on my secondary YouTube. So, um, warts and all, even, even the, even the VODs where I've probably vented more than I should. <laughs> there is no escape, Moist. There is no escape. Hughes. Howdy again. Hi. Uh, I just thought I'd let you know. Sorry, we're about to leave, but uh, just let you know your boys have head down to Armadillo Way. Oh, I forgot to mention. Oh, you that's all right. I'm sure Harkness now. has got a, a, a hand on it. That might be them ringing right now. I better get that. See you, Jeb. Right, See you, Lily. See you, Mr. Hughes.
Howdy, this is Ca uh, Acting Sheriff George Hughes of the West Department. How may I help you? Nearly called you this self-captain there, mate. Oh, damn it. Well, hi, mate. It's all... I... Go on. Oh, no, you go. Sorry. Oh, mate, I'm in Siska at the moment. Um, there is a man here facing seven hours in prison, allegedly, jailed by Jack Harkness. Now S Seven hours? Yeah, I thought we were only supposed to do six. I, so I, I'm just calling up to see if Jack's there, if he knows what the deal is, if you do, what's the go? I believe I've heard six hours sounds right to me. Yeah. Um, uh, I believe I've just received word that Harkness and the rest of the boys have headed down to Armadillo, I think, to see the Rangers. Okay. Uh, so he's not here right now, but I... Look, I don't think it's going back too much. I think, yeah, make it just make it six. All right, yeah, as long as you're all right for us to change it. I could leave him here if you want, but... um. No, if... if yeah, he's, if, he's put in, like, a million alerts calling us here and... No, I, you know. six six rings a bell, and if Harkness, if it, Harkness brings it up, tell him that I I made the call. All right, do it. As Not long me. as you guys are all right with it, I'll, I'll do it. Look, se six is pretty close to seven. It, yeah, it, I'm yeah. sure it'll be fine. All right, uh, yeah, just calling to make sure you guys are all right with it. Didn't want to dick anyone around. No worries, Kenneth, I appreciate that. All right, no worries, mate. You enjoy your night. Hopefully, I'll come across you soon. You too. Have a good one. No, you too. Stay, mate. Bye. <laughs> Fucking hell. So, as captains, we make 66 cents an hour. Senior deputies make 56 cents an hour. Or I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how you calculate it. What it's like? He's what sixty six cents a tick. But what's a tick? Is that ten minutes? Fifteen minutes? Oh, I'm not on duty because I'm not on duty. Um. Let's let's go. Let's just go around town. Let's because I'll be away for like four days. Let's go around. Let's go around country. Um, oh, I better make sure I locked the door. Yep. Whew. Let's go get changed. Oh. oh. It's just I am I'm very nervous to look at the ledger and see how much money we've got left. Um Because if that's getting low, like, eventually it could, it could run out. And then the lawmen aren't getting paid. Um, the, like, unless the governor goes along with the tax idea, um, the only way we can fill up our ledger is, um, if we are finding people and confiscating weapons that we then scrap. Um, so just, I guess if there's any... If there's any criminal players currently watching, or friends of criminal players, and you want to just, you want to just let them know that, look, we're not always trying to get the win. We we really respect story and RP, but if 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 you could just if you could throw us a bone sometimes, like let us let it like we can we'll happily. You know, let the let the big story arcs continue, but if you could just like throw us sometimes, you know, some drugs or like some cheap guns that we can confiscate and like find you some like little amounts over time, like that'd be that'd be appreciated because it's just if that coffer goes if the ledger goes all the way down, um some of the casual player lawmen might stop playing during times that you like to play, so um, just, just keep that in the back of your head, hey? Um, law can't exist without criminals and criminals can't exist without law. Alright, just... 
Thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, just little crime. Just little crime. Just, 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 just let us have some little wins here and there. Um, we, we'll, you know, we'll go easy on you with the big story arcs. You know, we will play ball, but just, just sometimes, just, just, just take a, take a loss with some little shit, or else everything's gonna get shit. And like this, that's just the reality of it. <laughs> but you, have you seen the Dark Knight Rising moist? You know where Garrett, where, um, Gary Oldman's character. Some people don't have the guts to plunge their hands into the filth so that yours could stay clean. <laughs> We're gonna be growing their own drugs to sell soon. Yeah, we grow our own drugs and then we just take them to the recycle station just to just to melt them down. Just so we can get paid. <laughs> it's like come on guys, like you've gone out on you've gone out on patrol. You've gone out on patrol, now it's time to do a now it's time to do a farming shift. Um, we gotta, we gotta make some money, boys. Well, we could, like, what if we grow some drugs for the doctors and then we scrap the rest for money? <laughs> like, how do the doctors get money? They're not fining people, they're not confiscating things. How do the doctors fill up their ledgers? Huh? How do they do it? Get Walt to start making Cattlemen's to recycle? That's not a bad idea. Because I've been thinking ahead, like, if, if Hughes becomes Sheriff, fuck gonna have to get, like, I really hope the tax, like, a tax happens. Because I'm actually terrified. Because, like, if we can't get, like, Walt or other businesses to, like, meet us halfway, we're fucked. We're actually fucked. No response yet. Just find some drugs growing somewhere. We try! We don't always, like, one, we don't always find them. And then, like, I'm not saying people regularly do it. But, like, it's just... Drug dealers and drugs always seem to, like, disappear before we get there. Um, I'm not accused of anything. It's just we've had stuff like this happen in the past. And it kind of... It kind of ruins the... Kind of ruins everything. Just saying, it's kind of fucked up. It kind of destroys the ecosystem of the server. Please. <laughs> like, have, like, maybe criminals growing drugs. You can have, like, your main farm somewhere and keep it really hidden. We'll play dumb. And then if you could just, like, have, like, a dummy farm, just give us that. Just, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit, eh? Just a mouthful. Oh god. Hello. Easy with them long Hello. arms, fellas. Oh, yeah, sorry, oh. that's why I put it away. Appreciate it. Oh, Mr. Hughes, are you saying a bad old deal and all? Uh, no. No, I have not. Ah. Uh, not since the the buggy race, actually. Oh, I just want to ask her how the house and stuff works, because I heard she was a real estate agent. Oh, yes. Yeah, no, she is. Uh, yeah, I've not... I've not since her. Seen her since she's started that, I'm afraid. Sorry. Sorry, Bobby. Oh, no worries. All right, well, we're going to head to say today. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Well... I think, just for a bit, I'm going to ride around country. Just, I don't know, just chill out. Look, if we run into Cynthia Wheelart, we'll, um, we'll do something there. 
If not, yeah, just chill out for a bit, because it's been a week, and um, I need to have a, I need a, I need to have a good night's sleep, because um, yeah, I fly to Sydney tomorrow, so I gotta have a good night's sleep. I gotta smash out work tomorrow, so that my boss doesn't have to cover me too much. That's right, Rando. Just have a dummy, a dummy farm. Above the, uh, above Valentine, and just, you're like, oh, no, the Laura found it, every now and again. That'd be great. And have your main drug farm tucked away. You know, just have, like, the easy farm for us, and then the tough farm that, you know, we will have trouble finding better, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you know? Like, just, you know, just thinking aloud. You just don't have to. It's just, that's just, that is literally, that is literally just how it is. Um, it's, and I can speak from experience, like, sometimes when shit gets too fucked, um, law players just want to take nights off, take days off, play other stuff, and just not deal with it for a bit, and then that's less days, and that's, that's less time most days, where law's on, so that criminals can be doing stuff, and then if no law, if there's not enough law around doing stuff, well, you've just been growing all these drugs and doing all this crime and that where there's no one to oppose it. And you're just, you're basically playing um, a dumbed down, like a, a weird version of Red Dead Online and without any experience. So, like, just consider that. Like, any good, any good story in that has, has conflict and it has protagonists and it has antagonists. Story and shit, just, just, yeah, just, you know. But that's just me. Oh, fuck. Oh, dude, dude, essential, like, man, I, yeah, like, the thought of maybe becoming sheriff and having to deal with the ledger, that I am not looking forward to that, but it's like, there's only so much I can, do, like, the acting, the sheriff can do, there's only so much we can do, um, like, we can be like, guys, go get more fines in that, um, confiscate more weapons, but, like, that's easier said than done, and, like, if, if, like, a handful of people are playing for, like, a, like, five to six hours every night, that adds up. And, like, to, to be bringing in enough fines and shit to, to match that, I don't think that's, I don't think it's realistic. I don't think it's possible, personally, but I don't, I don't really know. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to the bank. What am I doing? Like, I feel like it's, like, the amount of, like, the amount of, like, fines per hour to, like, meet that per person would be insane. I just, I don't think, I don't know, I don't know, man. But I'm not, I'm not, like, great with maths and shit. Um, I just got a bad feeling, dude. Uh, how do you, oh, it's fucking night time. So the bank's not fucking open. <laughs> Put it in the pig pen. <laughs> Just straight there. Don't get me wrong. I think I think the idea is great from the staff team to have it that like even the economy is run by the players. But I just I just I I don't know if it's realistic. I don't know. I don't know if there's enough uh, law and active crime on the average day to 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 do it. I just I don't know. I don't know. Um, I would have to get someone much better at maths than me to crunch some numbers and just put it in perspective of like, okay, so this is, this on the average night, this is how much is drained from the ledger from all the lawmen on, right? Now let's then compare that to, okay, now to, you know, be earning that back with fines and stuff, let's figure out how many fines per hour each lawman has to be doing and what amount each, the average fine has to be. Um, I would really like to know what the result of that is.
In the real world, now this is a very, very dumb question. In the real world, and I think I know what the answer is. In the real world, where does the where does the police get their money from? Is it just that's that's the government with tax, right? It's not like it's a I know it's a very dumb question. It's an extremely dumb question, but just how does it work? Yeah, and how and how how would how did law department? How did law department members, like lawmen, sheriffs and that, how did they get, where did the money that they got paid with, where did that come from in 1900? If anyone happens to know or is quick on Google now. Also, Amir Vodka, thank you for the follow. Also, uh, is that Van Gogh with Leet Speak from about an hour ago? Sorry about that. Um, thank you for the follow as well. Howdy, partners. Give us the last seven days worth of ledger expenses. We can do the math. Oh, I do. I'd, I'd, I'd feel a bit bad. Um, I'd, feel, I'd feel a bit bad going into detail with that stuff on stream. I might, when I've got some time next week, I might um, jump in a voice call with some other law players and and we'll figure it out. Bribes. That's that's another good point. Essential. It's like. Like, I don't know, Walt Gold, do you want us to, like... Oh, you want us to, like, stay out of Valentine for a week? Well, you better fucking pay us. You better fucking pay our wage for the next seven days. For, like, an average of five lawmen per night. So I wish I was better at maths and finances, Griffin. I am... I'm fucking hopeless. Um, I am hopeless. It's amazing I save any money in the real in real life at all. Also taxes steampunk. God, gee, I I I was I was wanting to find a way to to mention in character that like the thought of taxes. I think that could be cool. Like there's just an extra dollar on every everything players spend money on. So every single thing, every purchase that's made in country, a dollar from each of those goes to the government that then goes to the law department I feel like that's reasonable someone oh, should RP as an accountant yeah they become the governor's accountant <laughs> that's right well yeah I was thinking about it I'm like well the GST here in Australia like it sucks but I imagine it's the same for um, the fire department and shit. Like, you know, I feel like taxes is, is fair to an extent, as long as it is going to stuff like things that actually help people. But like, sometimes it's like, bro, can you just, can you just fucking fix these highways of all the potholes and that and stop fucking taxing us? Like, do it fucking right the first time. You fucking bastards. Oh, fuck. Oh, I was like, is that a player? I feel like they're gonna give me a quest. Ah, more bank fees. Yeah, yeah! Well, that's the thing, Griffin. If we... Like, yes, we are. We are being more aware of fining when we can. But if we're just fining unreasonably all the time and, like, <laughs> ridiculous, it's gonna get out of hand. Like, yes, we'll have money in the ledger, but then... All the players, like the fucking general population, is going to rise up against the fucking government, and I don't, I don't think the governor wants that either. I don't think he wants riots in the street. That's another great idea, essential. That is another fantastic idea. At it. Well, there's just no one around, eh? Well, there is, but not. Oh. Oh, the fine oh, lawman. Um, Howdy. <laughs> you wearing a beautiful orange today, not red. Well, I'm, uh, I'm off. I'm off uh, duty, Mr. Gold. Uh, oh, uh, it's good to see you. Mr. I didn't Hughes. do it. I'm, I'm not here on duty. I'm just. I'm just traveling around. I'm going away for a few days, so I thought I'd get around and see everybody. How you going, Mr. Oh, Gold? Shit. 
Not too bad, Mr. Hughes. It's sad to see you you going on a vacation. Oh, I'm it's just for about Randy. three, four days. It won't be that long. It'll fly by. I miss your face every day, yet alone three, four days. Oh, stop it. Well, God damn. Look, I just want to check. How's everything going in Valentine? How's everything here at the gun store? <laughs> I don't think you want to know that. I don't want to ruin your vacation. That well, you know, we're 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 aware of it, Mr. Gold. We're we're all over it and uh imagine y'all have heard about the we got Sheriff Bowman stepping down here in the West. Yeah, well what's going on there? Just not not, not his heart in it no more. I think he's what? just he's got a lot on and he, he just shit. feels that other you know, someone else could put in you know you know, stri strike a fire underneath the, the asses of all the of all the Does West that mean Law. my man, the main man, Mr. Harkness, might be getting a promo? He could be. Uh, as far as Holy I know... Shit. As far as I know, there'll be a vote between Harkness and myself sometime next week. And, uh... Well, then and, we have a lot to talk to you when you get back from your vacation. Well, look, uh, you know, may, may the best lawman win, uh, as far as I can see. You know, whatever, however people want to vote is how they should vote. Uh, look, depends what your stance is on, um government contracts and uh, working out who the best uh, gunsmith is in county of course well look I may have gone down to St. Denis to buy a bolt action in the past um, you seen the ridiculous pricing yeah I know but I really the bolt action's familiar I think I got bolt actions in stock right now what are you talking how about how much you sell them for uh, far less I put it, how much do you pay for a bolt action I think over there 350 Give me one sec. Let me let me see here. I might have one on the rack, and if not, uh, you know, I always got my price sheet in my pocket. God oh, damn. Yeah, if I might end up needing another one. What did you say, three fifty? I think so. $300 here. Oh, I don't think you had any when I was in the market for it. Uh, You know, the best thing about pre-orders with me is I get them fulfilled the next day. Oh, shit. So Especially I, if you're paying cash. You're paying cash. I'll have them there that afternoon. I'll go... Right over to the, all the blacksmiths in Canada myself and get the parts for it, need be. I should have thought of that. I'm sorry, Mr. Gold. I'd... Hey, listen, that's okay. You, you're just not used to the gold's quality of service just yet. Shit. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Well, I, I do I do like coming up in here, and I know Miss Will is awfully fond of uh, the kind folk here in Valentine, and, uh, you know, we're just good friends. But, uh, you no, know, no, we, we've still okay. been spending time together. You know, we, you know, we good friends catch can. up. And, uh, you know, she always speaks very highly of uh, the good folk here in Valentine. And, you know, I, I respect that. Shit, I respect that she just come up and told me just before she'd be made a fully-fledged doctor. Oh, you, I'm I'm mighty proud of her right now. I'm actually, I'm riding around, you know, I'm speaking of, you know, catching up with everyone I can. But did you, did you happen to know where she was going? Uh, I believe she said she was heading down to uh, Blackwater. Or How something? long ago was this? Oh, that's about two or oh, 15, 20 minutes ago. Oh, shit, I must have just missed her. That's a shame. Yep. Well, if she comes back through, tell her that uh, George Hughes is off doing it, and he's just, he's riding around aimlessly. Okay, no, well, I'm sure she'll find you, you know. The, the two people who are good friends like that seem to have a bit of a, a sixth sense of where people turn up, so yeah. you never know. But no, yeah. like I said, we're just good friends. I just wanted oh, no, to make hey, sure look, I see it before I go for friends. a couple of days. And uh, I'll be back. I'm just going to go down to Telegrams to send something, and I'll be back. Oh, yeah. No yeah, worries, no worse. But, uh, yeah, is it, yeah, any, yeah, just wanted to pop in, Mr. Gold, and just make sure everything was all right. Uh, I, I, I will, we'll be sad without you around here for a couple of days, but I'll be glad to catch up with you at the end of it all. Oh, uh, well, look, uh, when I get back, I'll make sure to stop on by. Yeah, pick me up one of them postcards uh, for wherever you're going. You know? <laughs> I think it's just I'm heading back up home to Boston, but <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we'll Bob, listen, I ain't had no no postcard from Boston yet. Shit. Oh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, my my <laughs> my parents emigrated over to there, and uh, oh, yeah. and I was I was born there, and I was raised as a small boy, and uh, you know, it's a it's gotta a, go gotta go see a, how they're going. You know, it's a fun place. You know, there's a lot of a lot of very uh, you know. Got the Irish ancestry on my mother's side, and you know they they yeah, they can be yeah. quite the party. Well, well, Mister Hughes, like I said, I miss you, but I'll see you when you get back, and yeah, I'll uh look, I'll keep a bolt extra round just in case for you from now on. Now, Mister Gold, as well, I just oh, wanted yeah. to give you a little heads up as well that I had a little sit down with someone today, 
And um, oh, shit. I may have secured a, a considerable amount of time of peace for us here in the West, especially Valentine. I do appreciate that shit. Now, I've taken a bit of a, a, bit of a personal blow to achieve this. But uh, I know that we've had trouble up here with, you know, Montgomery's and uh, Hickey's and a whole bunch of little groups and, like, hobos, you know, being horrible to women and stuff. And that just yep. don't sit right yep. with me. So I've I've, uh, I've taken a, you know, made a bit of a, you know, I took took a bit of a blow. Nothing too bad. Uh, just to a... Uh, you need help covering that? No, that, no, that but uh, just, you know, I, uh, you know, I was just thinking of y'all. Um, I do appreciate. I'm not trying that. to get brownie points for the voter, and it's just no, I just... no, no. Hey, look, you got brownie points from me. Either way, you know I do appreciate that. And listen, it's better to to probably you do that than the governor, because the governor was around here, and I must admit, yesterday he almost got his head blown off, and I saved his ass. So I was about to ask him to uh, to do a couple of favors, but you know, if you could take the credit and get you know oh. brownie points with him as well, that might, I've already told might him. Good on your standing. He sees where I'm coming from, but he did give me a bit of a bad. You know, he's like, you know, oh. Mr. Oh, Hughes, really? this ain't preferable, but I see what you're doing. So, like, just I hope the next few weeks are better for you, Mr. Gold. Well, shit. Look, no matter which one of you wins, I think uh, you're both good good men in my eyes, and I, I agree. hope that. Uh, Hope you can see I'm trying to help you out as well. No, I, end, I do. I just wish we'd get a more moments, more peace and quiet like this to talk. But I better keep yeah. on my way. Good to see you. And Thank I'll you, see you Mr. when I get Hughes, back. And you, have, you have a good trip up there, Boston. No problem. Catch you later. Catch you. Yo, Natalie J. Dog. Sorry. We're just, yeah, just um, I've been riding around trying to catch up with people because I, I fly to Sydney tomorrow. I'm going away for a few days. So I was like, all right. We're going off duty. We're going to go around and just talk to people, make, like, catch up with folk and um, see what's going on. But thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, Raiders. Uh, how you bloody going? What were you playing tonight, Natalie? How's everyone going? My name's Corbs. I'm, uh, I'm from Down Under. And usually I'd say I'm a variety streamer, but over the last few months, uh, this has kind of been my thing. So, um, yeah. Yeehaw! <laughs> You're playing Minecraft. I I keep seeing that there's all these updates on Minecraft. I'm like, God, I haven't played Minecraft in a hot minute, eh? You having fun? But you've been obsessed with Red Dead. Have you finished the story of Red Dead 1 and 2? Your name is very familiar. Yes, no, yes, I have um, crossed paths with Solar. Um, a while ago, um, a, a, a fellow I know through on Twitch is one of her moderators. Um, I have no mercy for you, um, which is awesome. He's he's awesome. Um, so I think that's how I've come across Solar. But yeah, I've um, I've become um, I've been in. Oh yeah, so you know Mercy as well. Yeah, yeah. I haven't actually I haven't caught a Mercy stream in a hot minute, so I need to I need to pop in there and see what he's been up to lately. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. Um, but yeah, I've been helping out, um, I've just been, yeah, I've, it's been great making friends with the Generosity team and helping out more and more over the last few years. I helped at the Generosity Slumber Party in Sydney, the, um, earlier this year, and, um, I should be helping out at PAX as well in Melbourne, so I'll be there. Um, but yeah, I still, I do the, a, a lot of, a bunch of Genos folk are on this server, which is great, and I'll be seeing some in Sydney over the next few days too. It's good. It's good positive, good positive community vibes. It's been, it's been nice. I've, I've, I've made so many friends over the last few years. It's been really nice. He's one of your mods as well. Ah, uh, what a small world. The, 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 uh, you're, you're in Australia, I imagine. Like the ANZ, like gaming content creator space is like, there's, there's so, like, there's so few, like, degrees of separation. Like, if you have heard of someone, you're bound to know someone that knows them or knows someone that knows them. You'll be at PAX Fatigue. I'll be there. I'll be there with a bunch of other Red Dead people. There may be... There may be some Red Dead RP representation at PAX. Watch this space over the... Between now and then. Are oh, you from Florida. That... I swear you've told me that before. 
I swear you've told me that before. That's ringing bells, Natalie. Hey. Damn, heat rash is killing That's ringing your bell. <laughs> oh, you're from Florida. You live in Switzerland. Am I having a bit of deja vu? Am I having a little bit of deja vu? That's... <laughs> I swear I'm having a little bit of deja vu. Look, I'll come say g'day sometime. Because, look, if Mercy's one of your mains... Uh, mains. One, if Mercy's one of your mods in that... I'll come say g'day sometime. <laughs> oh, Switzerland looks so good. I... Whenever I get, like, clips of that, um... Like, you go up in the mountains... And you go on, like, that little roller coaster looking thing, like, down the hills. That looks so freaking cool. That looks so good. Solar and Mercy are mods. Well, damn. I've always... I've, I've actually surprised that Mercy and I and some other people haven't been in, like, a speedrun race against each other yet. I'm very... I'm actually surprised that hasn't happened yet. Um... Because Mercy, as far as I can tell, as far as I've seen and as I've heard, he's got some skills. Like, I swear he's told me that he's run, like, Gears of War and stuff. Which is, I've never even, I've never attempted speedrunning Gears of War. I modded Solo, so a couple of my other mods couldn't abuse it. <laughs> I always hear about bullying, like, mod bullies. It's so funny. I will... Well, look, I feel like I'm getting some deja vu. But if not... It's a pleasure to meet you anyway. And I appreciate the raid all the same. Very kind of you. Howdy, Crow. Howdy, partner. Just trying to find these doctors. Hughes has got to tell Miss Wheeler all about the meetings that happened today. And congratulate her about becoming a doctor before he goes away. The pressure's on. The pressure is on. Yes, sir. Add it. Um, we I just can't... had to get a doctor for the the governor. What happened? He's, He's just drunk, drunk himself, silly. Governor's too drunk. He should have learned that from me at the dance. Which doctors yeah. was it? Ah, uh, Dolores is there. And no, and no sign of Miss Wheeler. No. Negative, sir. I just rolled oh, up the back. There's Miss Wheeler down there. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, well, sh well shit, itself. boys. You had me oh, worried there for a second. Nah, he wasn't. It wasn't any uh, misadventure. Oh well, it was. It was personal misadventure. Come on, I I drank myself silly at the dance. That should be fresh I in his memory. It. Yeah, it was a lot of tequila. He's on the floor vomiting. So he took my he took my meeting with him pretty well. I. I wonder why he drank like that. <laughs> Apparently, that the uh, um, lawyer gave him some tequila. Oh yeah, there was a there was a lawyer, the the fella from the court case earlier. It, yeah, apparently he gave him some tequila. Oh, that that guy, he, I don't trust him. But I didn't see Dottie while I was there, so it wouldn't be her. Nah, definitely not. We actually are uh, wondering about that. You know, criminal on the run is now uh, his personal assistant. Well, I didn't say anything to him because I was. Being careful with all the other stuff I was informing about, but yeah, I think we keep an eye on her. Mm. All right, boys. Well, I better go see Miss Wheel. I've been riding around like a goose. So go on your day. I better get. Her, I, I might get her a bottle of wine for a potion. <laughs> the governor needed a doctor because he drank all this alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That is so fucking great. That's funny as fuck. Oh shit! What? Why did you scream when you see me? What? Are, no, I, like a ghost. You're right outside the door. You scared the dickens out of me. Yeah, I have that effect on people, I guess. Not me. Not at all, ma'am. I was scared for my life. Howdy, partner. Maybe just a little easy with the long arms in town. Yeah. Thank uh, you. I'm glad to see you're in one piece. I did get a report that you were still alive <laughs> from Cal himself. Many greetings. From, um, oh. I forgot your name again. So I'm so sorry. What's your name again? 
Well, Miss oh, Will, God. are you still doing some doctoring? Right, sorry, I just I think uh, it's pain. getting a bit late for me. Uh, I've had a really no, tough on. first day. What kind of... All right. Do you, do you need a break, or are you going to call it? I might Legally have a conversation now. with you for a little bit, but I don't think I can go riding. No, that's all right. Hey. You want to hear about my shit day and what I did wrong? I, Thank you. I would please. love that. All right, let's well, let's head this. You have okay. a beautiful, blessed day. Hello. No, oh, wow. me, not you too. Go away. Why not? Not, not you, you, Todd. I'm talking to Miss Wheeler. Oh, yeah, but I can listen. No, you can't. Go away. Oh, go get what? your own friend. Todd, go oh, go I look out. We There's long friends. arms in town. I thought we were friends. Woodman? I, yeah. I ain't got the patience today. Let me talk to Hakan as well. Sorry, Hakan. I, uh, I'm going to finish up for the day. I think is is enough time for me to call it a night. Uh, <laughs> Yes. But uh, it was it was a pleasure riding along with you and uh, seeing what you can do in the Wolfie. field. Mm. How is he? Thank you for your time, Good. Sophia. You should have a chat with him sometime. I, I will. Good. When yes. I get back, I will. May your yes. journey Fantastic. be peaceful. <laughs> Todd, Todd, Todd. Right, Griffin? Right? I killed Bacchus Wolf's horse. No. No. <laughs> Oh, I was I just got promoted and we I was I was leading my team. I had a team I was responsible and I was leading my team Louisa and and Raven through the night We were riding through the night through some trees and we heard wolves and then we saw shooting and it was all very confusing And I ran right into Marcus Wolf's horse and it's his new horse. He just got the horse I, and the horse It's okay. It's okay, Cynthia. It's okay. These things happen I'm in the fool of myself within 10 it's again my new job. No, to, no, no. To one of the rangers. No, 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 no. You beat. No, you beating yourself up. It's okay. It's okay. Everyone's telling me it's okay, but it's very embarrassing. He was yelling at me, and then he was lying on the floor crying. I, I know. I know. I know. But he would have. You. You explain the situation to him, and you apologize. I tried. It was very heated, and there was there was still wolves around, and people in the dark, and screaming, and and they we just had to leave and ride on, and they tried to lasso the horse's body and drag it with them. I, I hope they got a veterinary treatment, but I offered to pay, and uh, I just think I made a big mistake on my first day. No, 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 no. These. And then you know what happened to me just then? I, I tried to tried to give morphine to the fella on the ground to get him on his feet, and I accidentally stabbed myself with that piece. Of no, you've been you've been under a lot of pressure. You, you know you've yeah. you've only just you know you've only just got promoted today, right? Yeah, today, like like only a few hours ago. Yeah, you're still fresh to it. These things happen. Yeah, but Dolores trusted me and I stabbed myself with an empty syringe. It, it's all right. I I, I don't think anyone else really does that. No, I saw Dolores. I had to I had to politely remind Dolores not to speed through town on a wagon just the other day. That sounds less problematic than stabbing yourself yeah, with a she, syringe or killing a horse. Yeah, but she's the head doctor, and she should know better. Yeah. So if, if she's going to be doing stuff like that, you don't you don't need to be beating yourself up about that either. You're doing your best. And you're doing a fine damn oh. good job. They would not have promoted you if they didn't know you had it in you. Well, that, that is mighty nice of you to say. I, oh, boy. It was just a, it was a lot all at once. And uh, it kind of my head is in a spin. I just want to seem professional. And then I, I feel like I ruined my relationship with the Rangers. No, not at all. Look, now it, I'm gonna be a laughing stock armadillo. Now you know how I felt after the I made a fool of myself at the dance. Well, hold on. Getting drunk and vomiting is not the same as killing someone's horse. You're right. I would say it's worse. I that you did you see how good my suit looked? And I vomited all over it. I had to go. I had to get the the governor had to help me bathe in the river. Yeah, well, that is true. And then he taught you how to dance while you're both soaking wet. So I guess yeah. And then it. we had then we had fireworks go off on our face, and we're covered in soot. We nearly burned our eyes. That's right. Off. You were covered in soot. Yeah, I remember that. And that, then uh, that's right. But oh, I still that does make me feel better remembering that night in vivid detail. But that's but despite all that, I still plucked up my courage, and I still came over to dance with the damn you know prettiest lady at the dance. I appreciate that, yeah. I guess I need to stop being as hard on myself, I guess. Here, look, I got something for you. Congratulations. You got me a print? I didn't get you nothing. I'm sorry. I should have got you something for being the sheriff. Oh, I, why? I'm a, 
I'm a active. I'm a acting sheriff, and Harkness is too. We're not sheriffs yet. It's that, but doesn't that mean you're gonna be in the election? I will be in the. I, I imagine I will be in the election next week. So I think everyone in the West gets the chance to vote for one of us. And look, the, may the best lawman win. I'm not. I'm not too first. Didn't you just uh, talk yourself out of two situations that could have gone badly and resolved for peace of Blackwater? Well, shit. You you got a little bit more time for me to tell you what happened. Go for it. Because I only heard what Cal told me. Oh, yeah. I might need some help. Yep, thank you. What, what? Cal came and saw you? I bumped into him in Blackwater. Well, you he bumped. was asking Hakan about... Come on, go over here. Just, uh, he, so he, he... Was it accidental or did it seem deliberate? No, he was. he came up to us because he noticed Hakan was like a native and wanted to find out if he could get him a nice bow. Right. Okay. And then he told me, he said, he said to tell Mr. Hughes, thank you because he, you resolved it peacefully. And uh, he said that he was, a, he didn't have a, a wanted out for him anymore, and he was allowed to be around him. Well, look, that. And apparently, Woodman got his gun back. I can confirm. I handed it back to him myself. Well, that must have made his day. <laughs> it did, and I felt good doing that for my friend. And but that 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 says a lot if Cal's actually going out of his way to say that to to people around. So. So yeah, I, you know, we'd had this going on for a while. I can't remember exactly what instigated, but I had had, I just about had enough. Um, and he kept, you know, you were there when he threatened me at the dance, saying that I would, he'd be coming yeah. to have words with me. I, I was there. I did hear it. And then I'm hearing through Todd and everyone that he's asking for me when he's robbing him. So I, I'm thinking, well, you know what? You know where to damn well find me. I'm down here in the streets of Blackwater. You can, you can come talk to me yourself rather than all these stupid threats so i spoke to alexi and we arranged a meeting for today uh you know we'll find a time that's suitable for everyone and uh yeah I, I i i understand how nervous you must have felt today miss because uh, i was standing up under that tree in the middle of the plains i i, I knew it we were driving we were riding around in circles trying to figure out where y'all were because you said blackwater and i wasn't quite sure exactly but we saw people up on the hill under the tree and that was y'all that, 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 if you saw a lone figure waiting at, for a meeting up there, that was me. Right. Well, glad I was nearby. Yeah, I, I, it made me feel a lot safer. So I'm up there, uh, over nearby on a hill, there's, you know, what, five lawmen, you know, ready to go in case something goes wrong. Um, you know, I'm just enjoying a nice healthy cigarette while I wait for 8.30 for Cal Dern to arrive. Next thing, the ground starts shaking. You know, it's rumbling. I look over. I shit you not. Like 15, 20 horses all coming all oh, coming over the hills. Oh. oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Sheriff. Yeah, where do you need to go? Howdy, oh, Hughes. How are you? I'm, I'm fantastic, sir. How you doing? I'm just enjoying a nice healthy uh, cigarette with Miss Wheelie here. Oh, okay. Not good, Parker. Not good. Not, not Someone's killed. Someone killed my horse. Ran right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What? Move around. No, oh, no, Miss. Was that her? Miss Wheeler. Oh, wow. oh no. Miss Wheeler. Oh. I can, I could not run while I was trying to smoke. No, no, no. See, now, what, what I believe has happened here, sir, with my limited, with my limited, uh, uh, less, 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 uh, uh, sharpened Pinkerton skills is that. Is that Miss Wheeler here, who's a recent uh, 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 doctor in the in the wonderful group of doctors, uh, made every effort she could to assist you, but there may have been some some complications, uh, you know, as you know, the anatomy of the average human and uh, of the average animal, like a horse, is it, it's very is very problematic. Mm. You got, you got right no there. idea how embarrassing. Oh, Sorry, sir. I'm trying to put out my cigarette. Ain't it fucking bad enough? No, that sir. I'm trying to. I'm trying to put out my cigarette. No, sir. That was. <laughs> Miss Wheeler punched me. Miss Wheeler punched me in the damn face. I did not mean to bring out my punch, punch Don't pistol with me, face. just with your fist. I'm punch not punching you. Yeah. Punch me. I, I ain't punching you. I know I got that free pass to punch you, but I'm not. Christina Waller punched me in the face. Oh, what I think I've seen enough violence to save me. Come on! Nope, I can't. 
<laughs> Reach up a little higher. Ah! Ah! Rangers are being hitting me. Ah! You know been choking me out. What? See, Sheriff. <laughs> oh, I think we should do. What's that? Oh, that was a good one. Never fist fight. No, definitely day, not. You don't. Rush. You know how old I am, party. You, you be hitting an old man. You know that. <laughs> I am old as hell, party. You, hit him. You would hit an old man too, wouldn't you, goat? Yes, I would. You would. You'd be that type of man. God, shame on you. Shame I'll, on you. I'll Reuben. do anything. God damn. It's all right, sir. I'm taking a few hits for you. I think it's time for me to make my General leave. Bushen. No, honestly, uh, please, it's okay. Uh, oh. Miss Nadine's actually holding up. She's she doing well. She she I'm on the hay. I'm so sorry. I panicked uh, when I saw the darkness and the wolves and the shooting, and we're trying to trying yeah, to guide my no, ride okay. along. And uh, that's I, okay. Well, honestly, it's I, all I good. Uh, Rangers, um, take that take that bounty down, please. Put that bounty down. Yeah, take that bounty down. It ain't two thousand dollar one. And shoot to kill one. Take that one down. Oh, the shoot to kill. Yeah, okay, count. Who got the bounties? Um, yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, we we have trouble down here. Arsenal all the time, you know. Bounties coming up, so I just uh -huh. I just forgot to take the poster down, you know. Um, right. oh, that was uh, that was like twenty posters too. So we're gonna quickly get them. Get oh, them we need to head down there pronto. Um, all right. Well, anyways, it's all good. Oh, uh, Captain. Uh, yes, sir. You're no longer Captain. I what? had some West deputies come down. I believe they did. Someone say you were sheriff. Oh, Hogness and I are both, uh, we're still pretty much covering as sh as captains. We're acting sheriffs until next week when there's going to be a vote for a new one. Where the fuck is Bowman? He's stepping down, sir. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, is Bowman owes us like $800. Yeah, he owes us a lot of money. Not, not you know, not to say that, you know, but he does. I'll, but, um, I'll talk to him. Uh, it was 800 yeah, on the dot. Right. Um. Mm. Okay. Well. Fuck. Fuck. But but sir, so your horse is on the mend. Yeah, it is. Yeah, where well, she is. Yeah. And, uh, we, I, I'm so sorry. I couldn't pay for the veterinary bills. Is that the governor? Uh, yeah, just get Uncle oh, Joe to pay the bill. Oh, oh governor! Perfect timing. We have to pay a bounty. Oh. owes a thousand dollars. Had a governor. And, and not so loud, everyone. Just, oh, just. He's a hung quiet. over. Oh, everyone's it's always this bright. Fuck me. Oh, yeah, it's the sun. Uh, anyway, um, oh, what, what did you boys need? Uh, we need a thousand dollars because we have to pay a bounty. A thousand dollars. Oh, my well, head. Well, it's one. Well, technically, uh, Ranger is one thousand eight hundred because we found smashing not the sheriff. The we don't, store. We don't have a sheriff. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, one thousand oh, eight hundred dollars. Henrik. Oh shit! That's what you get from wearing that. I'm uh, I'm back. Yeah, he uh, stepped down. Uh, unfortunately. Do you mind? Uh, uh, are you? Do you have a lot of recruits with you? Sorry, or? sorry. Oh no, I'm heading out, Charlie. Oh, you're um, heading out? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. This trip to Saint Denis taking a very long time. But they may uh, be a while. Well, Miss, well, you want me to tell you the rest of the story? Give me the report. Yeah, let's head over this way. God, that really escalated quickly. I'm sorry, I'm punchy. I panicked because he called me Christina Waller. No, that I, that's what I, I I said that deliberately because I knew it would set you off. Oh, you, you knew off. that was going to make me angry. That's it. No, I I have I have learned that West, lesson well, ma'am. Um, I I've never punched someone before like that. Well, well now you know. Maybe run. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> what is going? Howdy, sir. Oh, not so loud, Mr. Hughes. Oh, sorry, sir. Oh, um, oh, God, what was I meant to tell you? Oh, that's right. I need, I know you're off duty, but because I don't want to forget it. Mm -hmm. Um, can I get you at some point to try and meet up with Mr. Loris and try to organize some medical training for the, for the, the boys? I need to make sure you boys can stabilize people to help the doctors out. Oh, do you remember, sir, I'm going to be away for about three, four, three, four oh. days. Fuck you me. might have to ask Harkness. Uh, or is that it? Or can that wait till I get back? Oh, I thought they can wait. I, uh, I, I need to go find. How about chat. I'll mention it to Dolores, and then Dolores can can talk no, to you. No, no, no. The, the sheriffs need to go up to the to the to Dolores. Right. Dolores is too busy as it is. Oh yeah, you got a point. All right. Well, I'm gonna go find a couch and probably die. Being honest, but. Oh, don't talk about that, sir. Y'all have fun on your break. Okay, yeah, sir. Like... 
Oh dear. Did you hear what happened? Please there? finish the story before I, something terrible happens and a, like a, a rock from the sky lands on my head. So so yeah, there's a weird. I'm standing under the tree. I'm waiting. I've got a cigarette in my hand. Then it starts rattling in my hand. There's the, it feels like there's thunder. I look over. 15, 20 plus horses all wearing matching black outfits come rolling well, over the I hill. I saw them actually heading your way. It, uh, my, I, my mouth dropped to the floor. My cigarette spirals down, lands at my feet. It's not for a couple of moments that I realize this and I put it out. They, 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 they go past the law department to show that they outnumber them three or four to one. Then they, they pull up on the other hill. Cowden gets off and he walks on over. He's, you know, something like, How's it been, Georgie boy? You know, the how he is. And, uh, well, we we had a chat about a number of things. He, you know, he's, uh, his girl, uh, Miss, Miss Dottie, well, Dottie Goldsworth now, she's now secretary for the governor. So he's a yeah, bit... Yeah, they parted ways, he told me. He's a little cut about that, but he's very respectful of it, which is admirable, and that's probably the most human I've ever seen him. And, uh... But then we talked about a great number of things, and uh, we sort of came to an understanding of each other. We've, uh, I think we've found we've come to a, a new level of respect and understanding of each other, which was, I'm very pleased to see. that. You know, I was hoping that I could resolve this without bloodshed, like the uh, standoff we had the other day. Um, you know, if I become sheriff, that's how I want to run things, is, you know, we don't want to go shooting every chance we get. We want to talk to these people and try and get people back on track. Um... Which, it, it was very scary, though, but uh, but I believe I have successfully uh, secured some peace and quiet for the West, especially Valentine for the next few weeks. Well, it sounds like it, definitely, because that's what Cal relayed to me directly, and, you know, I don't think he much cares for me, so he's still telling everyone, I think. That's That, that really says a lot, and uh, so I imagine, you know, I would like to know that, you know, when I when I come back after the when I'm, I'm I'll be heading back up to Boston for a, for a few days, uh, just to, I got to run some errands back up from you know, where I grew up, and I'll be back next week. So I'd, I'd love to hear when I get back if if Mr. Gold's been in less trouble while I've been gone. Oh well, I will try and keep you updated. I'll send you a telegram a day or something. Oh, don't don't overexert yourself, Miss. I know you. have you're very busy. You're... Riding a telegram is not too hard. I know, I but mean... you're, a, you're a doctor now, miss. Oh, my God. I'm a doctor now. I'm going to throw up. And I know I said it before, but I, I congratulations. I'm very proud of you. I think I appreciate that. Like maybe maybe go on to, you know, share that bottle of wine with Dolores or something sometime. Well, I think that will be myself and Henry riding out to the middle of nowhere, sitting on a on, next to a river and... Cracking open that bottle of wine. If you're sure, but but yeah, that's that's you know. Then I had a couple of meetings with this and that. You know, talking. I told the governor. You know, rather than him finding out through the grapevine what happened, I I went and told him straight up, and I I wore it and everything. So that's me. But what else? Is, what else has happened today? What what else? Anything but else? There, there weren't that many calls except for the one where I accidentally stabbed myself in the leg with a syringe. Um, it was. It, we had a day with a lot of medical recruits, and uh, it was. William got really drunk. He did what you did at the dance, but he drank oh. like two two drinks too fast, I think. And he got robbed and then he drank because I think he was trying to fix how he was feeling about being robbed or something. And then I had to, he was in Valentine and he was rolling around in the mud and I had to pick him up to try and sober him up. Oh, so you, you but, 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 but you had some practice dealing with that. So you were able to handle it effectively, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. I think he will probably feel embarrassed right now, but um, yeah. try not to. You know, I'm trying not to see him differently for it, but mm. uh, mm. yeah, concerning, I guess. But uh, don't tell anyone I told you that because I don't want, I don't want we're getting back about him, yeah, getting drunk. No, no, not at all. Well, I, I, I bumped into him, Valentine. I, I, he told me that he was raw, but he didn't mention any of that, and I don't intend on mentioning that at all. Yeah, he's a nice fella, he's been teaching a lot, so well, I'm glad he's to hear just, it. Yeah, went through a difficult time, I guess, losing his shotgun. I, I, I bet, and it's really unfair. It's not okay that he had, you know, two long arms stolen from him. That's just not on. No, it's not. But so if yeah. we could get those back for him, you know, we will. Definitely. But uh, yeah, that was my whole day. Is one one mistake after another. But I think I helped at least maybe two people, three maybe during the day. 
See, that's two or three people that, you know. Oh, one guy got bitten by, by a snake, but he didn't know it because he got shot and he was running away from the bullets. And then he got bit by a snake. Oh, God, that's just going from bad to worse. Then, well, imagine... he made his way into Blackwater, was like coughing, and he's, his eyes were turning like yellow. And then he, he, was, he was like looking real sick. And then he goes, oh, by the way, I also got shot and turned around. And he had a bullet on his back. Jesus. Can, can you imagine you're out hunting or something, then a snake bites you on the leg, you're running back. Then a wolf comes and mauls you. Then a bear. And then an eagle. Imagine, imagine that. <laughs> Just that crossed my mind. Yeah. That made me chuckle a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Makes you chuckle, but some, it happens to some people, Shit. I guess. That's that's unfortunate. But you mentioned your telegram you've been scared lately. Is it just oh, you're just being nervous? It was because of the whole Lexi thing and how I've pretty much spilled the beans on some things that you said. That's... In, they won't be. They won't be mentioning this. There's no. There's. I know, but also it was really confusing talking to the Pinkerton guy. It, it, like, I, was it Lou or Frank? I, like I've, Lou, I think I've seen him around, and he's got this like. But he also then said to me in the same breath of like, "You need to speak to me." He said that he'd also he he was running from the law. So I, am I meant to trust this man? It's like what what is? <laughs> I'm confused. Look, when I when I when I came down here to a. Uh, to transfer to this law department. Now, I'm not proud to say this, but Lou and I both woke up. Um, we don't know how we got there, but we both woke up in a chicken coop out in the middle of nowhere, um, wearing green boots and green belts and stuff. And uh, we, we don't know if we had been drinking or or what, but we, 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 we walked back into town together. So I call I consider Lou a friend, and he's always, uh, he's always had, he's always been a, He's always been kind to me. So you, you could trust him. All right, as long as you say so. But, you know, it was it's just kind of strange to give people secrets when they're telling me they got a, they're got running from the law. So no, I assume he, that's some part of, he's, I don't know. You ever heard of going undercover? Like he's going, yeah. like, under, undercover? Oh, so he's, right, he's acting a part, he's, I guess. Yeah, just just play along with it. Like, I I I, I can't believe the amount of times we we run under him and he's interrupting and said, "Fellas, I gotta tell you something important." And he'll tell us like, "Did you know this person's been dealing drugs?" And we're like, "Yeah, we know." And he's like, "Okay, now pretend to shoot me." And we're like, "Okay, Lou. Yep. Okay, just we're trying to go somewhere. Right. Thank you. Bye." He get he gets you to play along. I see. Yeah, well, that makes me feel a bit better because I was really confused. I'll be going down to get some. Get some cheese from the store, and I look. Right, there's Lou yeah, fucking right. staring me. Hello, Mr. Yus. Oh, how do you miss me, Hernandez? You have a good evening. That's the, the governor government. needs a lawyer on hand all the time now, apparently. That's the man that gave the governor all them uh, tequilas. Yeah, I told him off about that. He's not supposed to be doing that. Yeah, he's an. He was a. He was a. He he was a lawyer at a court case we had a few weeks ago. Uh, like that for that Billy Bunda fella and everything. That uh, was recently executed. It was that was a yeah. that was a hell of a time. Right. Yeah, that was before my time. So yeah, keep an eye out. You'll probably see more, of Mr. Fernandez. Just yeah, he's a don't don't let him give you too many tequilas. No, I won't. I haven't been drinking so much at the moment since I've been focused on work. But, but anything but, else about work? Like this is I'm, no. I'm a uh uh anything you want to tell me about work? I'm here. Tell me a anything you want. Nope. That that's it. I told you everything. I stabbed myself with a syringe by accident. I accidentally killed somebody's horse and and I uh, made a fool of myself. So uh, that's the whole job. Well, it can only get better from here, right? Yep. You got. I'm at rock bottom, so we can only go up. That's right. And like I said, they would not have promoted you if if they didn't believe in you. I know you can do it. I've I, you know I've seen it. I've seen what you've done. You've been around. You've been learning from William and the best of them. You've got this, okay? Yeah. Like you yeah. like you tell me yeah. with all my worries with the law, you know, it's not my fault and everything. Well, the same goes to you, Missy. Yeah. You've come so far from from your home. And now look what you're doing. You're putting all this stuff you've been trying to do, you put it in practice. Now it's happening. Yeah. Uh I'm trying my best. That's that's all we can do. That's all we can do. All right. Well, I think I've. I better I better be heading off myself. Uh,
got to go pack a few things and that. But yeah, I'll be back next week. So yeah, love to, you know, send me some telegrams. Keep me updated about all the... Well, I will. You know I hear everything. All the ridiculous things going on. But you stay safe, all right? I, I know you can look after yourself, but you stay safe, all right? I will. You too. All right. I'll see you when I get back. All right. I'll see you then. All right. Good luck. You got this. Bye. She did what? You were supposed to have a shot. <laughs> cool. Well, that that's probably good timing. That's probably good timing to wrap up um, for the night, I reckon. Because, yeah, I better make sure my bag is all packed. Oh! The, the cold weather we've had here, the cold weather we've had, um, has been so bad. It's been so bad. Like, at work, I mean, like, <laughs> like, I should be called Mr. Smokes. Um, like, today I've just been at work, like, <laughs> like, lucky I'm in a soundproof office. Um, and then, like, I'm driving back home today, like, <laughs> Because I got some really good news. I got some really good news on the drive home. Yeah, you can remember this. Of course. Um, like, uh, I checked my emails when I was leaving home for work. Uh, leaving leaving work for home. Ooh. And I got some really good That's news. Great. I don't want to I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to jinx myself. But, like, I was just thinking about that so much. And I was just so excited about it that, like, I do that thing where I don't... Um, it's like I'd stop breathing properly. Um... So I was like walking around the house, like, <laughs> like wheezing, like, like I'm gonna die. And everyone would be like, what's wrong? I'd be like, nothing's wrong. I'm just excited about something. But you know, I'm, f I'm fucking dying, man. Fuck it, we're gonna role play Hughes going away for the days. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride to St. Denis. We're gonna role play it out. I'm gonna role play it out. I mean, I mean, I'm out in the middle of bloody. I'm out in rural New South Wales. I'm in... I'm in whoop whoop. <laughs> Had to get Tom to open all the windows in city halls. Oh, bloody Tom. But yeah, the last few mornings we've had, um... Um... Like, usually, like, when I would go do... When I would go do morning shifts, like, leave for work between 5 and 6, you know, there'd be morning fog and everything. But now, last few days, we've had that at like 9 a.m. And I'm like, what time is it? What the fuck is this? Oh, you grew up in Parks. Yeah, Parks is like just a couple of hours away from me. Um, I went down there my, when my folks came to visit. <clears throat> when my folks came to visit last year, we went down there to... Um, we went there to have lunch, which was really nice. We went to this pub. And we had some amazing pork belly bites and some... I think I had a parmesan or a steak or something. It was really good. Um, but we went there to check the graveyard. Because um, we have found doing the family tree that... Um, uh, some of my great, great... I don't know. Great, great? Great, great, great? Like two greats or three greats grandparents lived there? And one of them, one of my great, great, whatever, grandfathers, on his gravestone, it says, a pioneer of the railroad. I'm like, that's cool. Um, so he, like, helped build it or something. The Parks Railroad. Um, we're like, oh, fancy that. So, yeah, yeah, I went down to Parks. And we, yeah, we drove past the dish. We went and got a photo in front of the dish. And, um, we had to, um... Uh, last year and the year before, we did have to produce some ads for the Elvis Festival. So I had to get, um, uh, I had to get one of my co-workers to do like a, oh, like, and I do like a, come on down to the Parks Elvis Festival for a great old time this weekend. Had to get him to do that in the booth. It was really fun. No, I feel that. Like, I imagine growing up there would be fine and all, but then as you get older, you'd be like, no, nah, I want to see different places now. Like, yeah, I grew up in, like, um, I grew up a few hours from Brisbane, 
And then, yeah, naturally, as I got older, it was like, more like, I want to go do stuff in Brisbane and the Gold Coast and the Sunshine Coast more, because I'm... I've, I've done the inland time. Now I want to go to the coast, goddammit. Um, so I get that. But that's cool. Yeah, I've got that. Yeah, got the yeah ancestry, a yeah, bit, of, bit of family tree and parks. But then they all... Those that, you know, didn't stay there till they died moved to Queensland. But now I'm down in... But now I've come down south to rural New South Wales to work in radio, so it's like... We've, I've come back! <laughs> I wish I lived near the beach. I'm envious. But yeah, I've been here just over two years, so I think I'm getting close to the next thing. Um... I think I'm getting close to the next thing. Which will be nice. Um, but also, Smokes, great RP from the Lord Department tonight. Like, um, everyone um, jumping on board and being ready for the the, the, the sit-down with Cal Dern and all that. Also, hello, Looper. Sorry, I was meant to say hello, Looper, before. Sorry. Uh, my brain is, like, thinking of... Stuff to say to Miss Wheeler, stuff like, I'm like, oh, let's roleplay riding to Saint Denis and thinking about, have I got everything? Probably too much. Um, it was, I'm, I'm very excited to go back and get a clip and um, get some screenshots because, like, looking over and seeing the Lord Department on the hill being like, yeah, man, there's the backup if I need it, we're good. And then seeing, like, that huge force of riders is like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, I don't think we're going to be shooting today. Or we're all going to die. I... Like, sometimes with the hostile RP, I'm like, look, if it's cool, fuck the rules. Like, imagine, like, the law department, like, fighting for their life on a hill in the plains, like, surrounded by, like, 20 riders. I'd be like, fuck the rules. We're taking the loss, but make it look fucking cool. I don't mind. I just want it to be... I want it to be epic. <laughs> like, I, like, like for the general stuff, I'm like, yes, just you know, go within the the ballpark of the rules. But for like, if everyone's like, if everyone can agree, this is a sick story moment. Fuck it, let's have or like in the future, let's have. Um, what's the player cap you can have in an area thirty something? Fuck it. 15 lawmen versus 15 criminals. Fuck it. I, you know, I reckon every blue moon, fuck it. Everyone is everyone is in agreement. Let's just do it. Whoever wins, wins. Just make it look cool. And everyone be yelling and screaming. And, oh, I've been shot. Oh, I need a medic. Oh. You know all that. Oh, steampunk. On average, how many fines do I hand to people in country? I... I... Over last week, I haven't given out that many. Um, in all, In all honesty. Um, there's been so much just riding between places and meeting with people, briefing people, getting debriefed, um, trying to figure out the law mechanics, uh, trying to trying to pass on stuff to recruits. Um, there's been so much of that. I I need to I need to be doing more fines. I really do. No, don't worry, Looper. I will um I'll get a I'll go get a clip. <coughs> I'll go get a clip. <coughs> if I don't get screenshots tonight, I'll get some next week. And if I can, I'll get you a timestamp. I'll I'll send you the link with the timestamp of when um when they roll in, and you'll hear me being like, "Oh fuck! Oh my god!" Like it's very cool. I appreciate that steampunk. Look, happy to get more data for you. It just probably won't be tonight because yeah, I gotta I gotta get on the plane tomorrow. <laughs> that just randomly here. Doctors called into town to deal with drunk governor. It's like, for fuck's sake. It it was meeting after meeting, but they were they were interesting and funny meetings, um, which was made it worthwhile. Um, it's been an interesting two days. Like last yesterday, I don't I didn't leave Blackwater at all over like four or five hours. I didn't leave Blackwater once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people have been putting up some screenshots of the group looper. It was you just wait till you see the clip. It was actually like I actually felt 
Like, I would not have to be acting out fear RP. I genuinely was like, holy shit, dude. And if anyone's like, come on, Lord Department, just go, you know, just go, just go deal with it. And be like, have you seen how many people we're dealing with? <laughs> There's criminals everywhere. Please, nutties, please, can we sit consider adding attacks? Is there like a, is there like a Discord bot we can use to keep track of every purchase in country and it just takes a dollar from each one and then that's then added to the game in like in the government and then they give it to the law department like that's that's realistic right just just on that little bed for us and we'll do the rest <laughs> i was so close to saying we could tax beans but i was like no i was like no we're gonna keep we're gonna keep dangling that carrot for any long time viewers and long-time players on the server. We're going to keep dangling that damn beans story arc carrot. I I agree. We... Um, I did share some stuff in the lore stuff, Nutties, that... Um, uh, we just need some clarification on the fine system. Because I, I understand there's the realism side, but it's also... Um, uh, it's... It's very tough, because... Not everyone's going to give us their name. But I guess it's it's real. I, I get the realism, but it's it's just... The odds are stacked against just to get fines. Like, we could give out fines, but then people actually paying the fines and us holding them accountable is a whole other thing. Some people in chat early, Looper, were making some very good points about, like, gun licenses, horse licenses, uh, a whole range of things that could also be, like, taxes and stuff. Um, just, you know, lots of little things everywhere. And then that money then comes back into the law department and the doctors and stuff. I feel like there could be something there. All good, man. All good. Like, we are trying our best. It's just... We are making a very conscious effort to do more fining and confiscating guns in that. It's just, there is the pressure of, well, we can't just go making up fines and take everyone's guns for no reason. Like... We're trying to, like, when they deserve to have that happen to them, we do it. Which we're making everyone aware, but it's also like, I just, the amount of law players on per night that drain the ledger just because they're wanting to play. They're not doing, they're not meaning to do anything wrong. They're just wanting to play and do stuff. But then there's not always like, it just, there happens to be some nights where there's no criminal stuff happening. And then when the criminal stuff does happen, we don't, we can't be there to make it happen. So it's just, you know, that happens over many nights and goodbye money. Um, I just don't... I Yeah, I'm, I, I've been very honest with chat. I'm not very good at maths and stuff, but I just... It's, it seems daunting. Where's the... F there. What? I was, I was very open before. I was like, look, any criminal players? Just, you know... The law players, we are willing to meet you all halfway with the big stuff. But if you could just, you know, have a bunch of little L's here and there over the over time, where it's just, you know, the odd cheap gun gets confiscated or just some simple drugs, that really helps us. And then we'll meet you halfway with being cool with role play for the big stuff. Um, you know, just just to consider, please, <laughs> please. Please, for the love of God. Please, you gotta meet us halfway, mister. We're, we're, bloody, we're bloody stressed, mate. Um, uh, 4.5. Or more orange juice. How many of these can you have? 10? I think you can only have 10. More? 15? No. You can't carry more items. I think that's the max I can carry that. Uh... I think there's someone standing behind me with a gun. I'm not gonna look right now though. I'm just gonna take my time with this. Corn damn cornbread. Yeah, there's someone there, I think. Eep. Oh, oh, it's a local. We're good. I Beasy, what choice if if push comes like what choice do we have? What choice do we have? It's either Finding people for looking at us wrong, 
or we find other means of doing it or we just don't get paid like it's it's i just fear it's going to come to some very extreme options um but i know i can see i can see what the intention is and i respect that it's just i'm just worried i'm just worried if we crunch the numbers that it's 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 a losing battle i'm just scared man i'm scared I'm just, I'm just scared. You're gonna get a talking to regardless? God damn it. Fuck it, while in St. Denis, let's stock up. But I brought over all this money accidentally anyway. Nom nom nom. Nom 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 nom. Cool. Me math comp. Me math good. Alright. What if I just don't move? What if I just pretend I'm in a menu forever? What if what if we just do that? Oh, howdy, partner. Uh. <laughs> Fuck! Uh can I help you? Yeah. Let's dance. Huh? Oh, you wanna dance? Okay, uh, look. It, it's Woodman. Todd, you fuck! <laughs> you just get... Here I am, trying to stock up on food before I go on my boat trip. And I turn around and here's you dressed like a clown. A, a very scary clown. Yeah, well, I don't know why I did that. It was supposed to be this, but anyway. What are you doing over here? Oh, I came over for something to do. And then I've been helping the eats with something. And then I saw you. Todd, remember, we got to be going easy with how much we help the East over the next few weeks. Oh, what's that? Because that's the deal with Calburn. Oh, you know, no, I mean, I was just looking for them because they, some of them didn't come back after a chase. Okay, yeah, just, just you know, we only really want to be coming over if they call us for something big. Oh, if... no, I was already over here, and then I watched them negotiate a bank robbery. Okay, and then, all right. And then, then some of them didn't come back after a while, and Dinger asked me to go have a look. All right, just, you know, just, yeah, as long as it's... You know, just, yeah, if that, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, I'm just, I'll come over here. I'm going to grab a boat, head up back up to, to Boston's for my, for my short trip away. Oh, uh, when do you get back? Uh, I might be back around like Monday night or Tuesday night. Okay. Just depending on how things go. I, I don't know yet. Okay. All right. No problem. All right. How many horses do you reckon could fit in the governor's office? Oh, God. Do, do, you, you do not want to be doing that right now. Like. When I when I left, he had just been he's battling a hangover from too many tequilas oh, from Oh yeah, I was Fernandez. in there as well. I was in there as well. I accidentally kicked him in the face. Well, put it like this, you could probably put one horse in there, but he'll see three. Yeah, okay, right. I but I'm not suggesting you do that, but cuz like he's he's on edge right now. Now he took okay. he took my meeting with him quite well considering that I technically had to sit down with a gang leader to try and get some peace for a couple of weeks we're not happy about it but he he was actually quite reasonable about it who the gang leader or, or Bo the both <laughs> okay. both calderon and the governor oh, okay I'm, I'm 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 gonna be counting my blessings that's for sure yeah no it's that's, that's fair enough so so what does this mean now where I, I don't even know what to do these days i i told you we just gotta Make sure you remind Harkness to rip down the posters of Caldern and Mr. Black. Oh, yeah. Uh, clean, oh. Both of them get a clean slate, and then we just... Um, they're not going to be causing any trouble in the West, as far as I know. They're just going to be having okay. strong words with the Valentine gangs. And then uh, we just we only go help the East when they call for something big. Oh, okay, yeah. But it was pretty reasonable. And remember, he did give you back your guns. He he did. So what about the East? Did they tear him down his post or two? Is that only a West? No, thing? but but Cal Dern acknowledged that uh that he, that that they will remain over there. That so, oh, okay. so he was actually right. quite reasonable. Right. Okay. It was. I was. I'm. I'm. I'm a little bit worried well, look, that it's look every I guess interaction I've had with him over the last couple of weeks. You know, he's <laughs> like, I don't want to do anything over in the West because I live over here. I'm like, okay, if if that makes sense, you know, crime wise, I guess. Yeah. No, well, now, they've, they've calmed down a lot, but they were really just doing all this as retaliation for a lot of things, and 
Look, I wish we could have just grabbed them the old-fashioned way, but it's just, it's been getting out of hand, and they've always been getting the jump on us. And you saw how many there are. Yeah, like, I know. We, we need, we just need more time. We need to get through this awkward transitional period. We need to uh, get the new, uh, you know, like Cyrus and Kelly and that. We need to get them trained up so they can just be going out and doing everything. So, Because we need to get to a point where, you know, there's, there's two people in Blackwater. There's two people up at Valentine, and there's another two you know, roaming around. We need to get to that level where everyone can be doing that confidently. That's, I think that's where we need to be getting so we can cover more ground. Mm, I guess so. Because we got to keep those fines coming. Yeah, I didn't find anyone today. Yeah, I know. We had that meeting and everything. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, howdy, Bobby. Hello. Oh, hello. hi. May I interest you with one of our fancy special meal deals? Oh, I know. I just stocked up on chicken and beef oh. and... Damn it, Whole range of things. I'm, I'm sorry. Could have got you to save you some money. God. Where were you a minute ago, Bobby? Oh, me and Archie went hunting. We had to get some game meat for the saloon. Oh, you run this place? No, no, I just work here. Oh, you just Miss Layla here? and Archie run it. Oh. Hi. How are we, mate? Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, it's a oh. lovely place here. I just, yeah, I'm, I'm here to catch a boat uh, back up north to Boston for a few days. So I figured oh, I'd well, stock up be before I go. You know, I, I don't get well, over here very often. If you need a drink, it's all me. No, Bobby, your your words inspired me. I've actually drink an orange juice. I made. I, I well, I think I I I make it special. Bobby, I went and took all the alcohol I'd kept in my locker at work, and I threw it in the bin after I talked. Oh, I'm so proud of you, George. I haven't had a drop of alcohol since, and I hear I just bought some uh some orange juice and some uh uh apple lemon smoothies. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I haven't touched a drop of the devil's drink, and it's all thanks to you, Bobby. Well, good. How do you feel now? Well, I, I you know, I'm getting there. I'm, I've been able to, you know, do some good things at work. Uh, I've been able to have some, you know, good conversations with Miss Wheeler recently. Oh, that's um, good. Had a lot of meetings, so I, I guess it's, I guess I'm getting, getting better. Just taking it by every day. Oh, well, that's the only way to do. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. Thanks again for that, Bobby. Uh, yeah, I got a boat to catch anyway. But yeah, lovely to meet y'all. Lovely to see you, Bobby. Good to see you, Todd. And I'll be back soon. Yeah. Easy, mate. All safe right, travels, eh? Thanks. I have fun. Everybody stay Bye. safe. I'm heading down you the too, dock, mate. Todd. Bye. Oh, yeah, I, go, I gotta go back and see what's his face. Where's the dock, Dan? Uh, to your, to your right. Oh, that's Mr. Roscoe just pooping in front of you. All right, well, I'm going to go back and see the other. All right, Todd. You stay right. safe. Well, and yeah, remind right. Harkness to take them uh, posters down of Caldern and Mr. Black. Clean slate right. with the two of them. I don't know if we can't, like, Miss Penny's is still up as well. Yeah, get that down as well, because that was all cleared up with I the governor. I don't know how we get that down without Mr. Bowman. Well, maybe, yeah, Har Harkness might have to uh, send him a telegram. Oh, okay. Or all just, right. or if Harkness can just alert... All the West Department that uh you know disregard those three, yeah, until okay. they're taken right. down. So just yeah, whatever you got to do, Todd. I, I yeah, I know you'll get word to Jack and you'll make it. I should have seen do it before I left, but I was just. That's all right. I just I was just really needing some downtime after that meeting. Yeah, no, it's fair. All right. Well, see you later. Enjoy your trip. I'll see you soon, Todd. Bye. Bloody Todd, <laughs> waiting behind with his shotgun. What a funny bugger. That game train. What a bastard. What an absolute bastard. Mmm, <laughs> pocket chicken. Looper, how'd your charity thing go? You mentioned that, yeah, you had to dip from Red Dead tonight to do a charity thing. How did that go? You're doing... You're getting quizzed on TV shows, yeah? You smashed it? Hell yeah. Oh, look, I'd, I'd really love to stop and chat with everyone. But I'm very committed to role-playing out that I'm walking down to the dock. But fuck all these people. Yo, Frog! I plan to be in tomorrow, but my water cooler for the second PC snap. What are you doing, Frog? Frog, what are you doing, mate? Frog, frog, frog. That's, mate, that sucks. 
Dude, I'm sorry to hear that. But it's awesome to hear that you're getting that, that finally done, and it'd be good to see you in country again, bro. Dude, I know. We've talked about it. You've just... I don't know, man. There's You've got an aura about you. <laughs> but I'd, I have a feeling that you're going to have some more balanced luck this year. I think we're going to hear... Um, I think I think you're gonna hear some good things. You're gonna have some fun, and like we're gonna we're gonna have some fun at PAX, man. Like definitely, like if one of the nights there's like the shit going on at Fortress, I'll be there with you, bro. I'll go I'll go have a drink with you, and we can and you can if you want to do a karaoke thing, let's do it. I know, man. I know. Yeah, I was actually meaning to ask, because, like, for a while you were like, nah, man, don't do alcohol at all. But then, like, over the last few months, it's like, oh, Frog's saying, like, oh, I had a drink, had this. I'm like, oh, okay. As long as you're doing it in a healthy way. As long as it's responsible. But, yeah, man, we'll have a drink at PAX. Um, it'll be good, man. It'll be good. Looking forward to seeing you, man. And, and they're on the speedrun thing later in the year. That'll be sick. Um, but yeah, we will leave Hughes here. Like, it's like, yeah, he's gotten on a boat to head back up the coast. Um, because yeah, I'm going away for a few days, so. Yeah. Whoops.